Oh, goodness gracious. Let's make me big. Hello, everybody. Hello. Am I really loud? I hope I'm not really loud. Is the music too loud? I hope the music's not too loud. Oh, goodness gracious. I oh, hope everyone's having a great evening. It's good to, good to be here. Wow, 166 people watching? Is that what this says? Has this been updated? I see the chat. I see everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. That was a nice little blast from the past. Oh, more than 200 people. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of people watching right now. Good God. Oh, gosh. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. This is a very special, special stream. I know there's a giant black bar right here. Ignore that. I, I'm messing with this all on the fly, so don't worry. We will uh, be watching a ton of double e cup series stop motion races here very shortly this is probably going to go on for a couple hours i don't know exactly how long the stream is going to be i have i have a list here of, ep of videos of races that i want to watch some of my personal favorites we're going to kind of go in chronological order so we're probably going to be here for uh i don't know at least an hour and a half probably close to two hours and i do plan on leaving this stream up after uh, after it's all said and done, so if you aren't able to stay for the whole thing, I hope you're able to tune back in later on. But this should be fun, because I'll be trying to answer a lot of questions from you all in the chat as this evening goes on. We're going to have some fun. This is probably going to be pretty cringy. I haven't watched a lot of these races in a very long time. Uh, I'm sure I started making these when I was 13. Almost, I was like, at the end of 13 is when I started making them, so I'm going to sound, and I guess we're not going to really see me tonight, but we're, I'm going to sound pretty different, so I'm pretty excited to, oh, to die of embarrassment on here. But uh, I guess to start out, opening opening thoughts opening statement here uh, those of you who watched my channel which I know there's a lot of you who've been watching or have been subscribed to my channel for many many years uh, I really appreciate that a ton this is mainly for those people this is for you if you've been watching a long time this is really for you because I, my channel I know it's changed a whole lot over the however many years I've been doing this seven eight years I guess we're closing in on eight years since I started my YouTube channel it's changed quite a bit and I know the channel the videos I upload today all out of the groove mostly going to racetracks it's very different than what I was doing three years ago um, and I appreciate those of you who've stuck with it for uh, throughout all of those uh, many changes. But I know the first thing that really blew this channel up and got it to any sort of relevancy was the stop motion races. Uh, so that's always a part of me. That's always something I mean I will always cherish and hold very dear. I'm very proud of a lot of the stop motion videos I've made uh, over many years, and I'm proud of the overall NASCAR stop motion community that still lives on even now that I'm not really making these videos very much anymore. Uh, so I guess yeah, I, I, in a nutshell. I just want to thank everyone who's supported the Double Cup Series, Out of the Groove, NASCAR Parody, any of my videos. That that's I, I really appreciate because I don't know. It's hard if you're a YouTuber to change your content more than one time, like dramatically change the type of videos you make, and have people still stick around and keep giving it a chance and keep watching. And the fact that this channel has continued to grow despite all this is amazing. But that being said, it's going to be a blast from the past night. We're going to watch some good old fashioned. Uh, Devil E. Cup Series stop motion video. So let's see. I got I got YouTube pulled up. I have a playlist here. So we're gonna start with a video tonight. Let's see. Let me make me small so I'm not blocking the whole screen here. Uh, we're gonna start with a video tonight. Oh, you see the little logo right here? Right, right. Whoa! Look at the logo. Uh, we're gonna start with a video tonight that isn't even a Double E. Cup Series race. This is not officially under the Dex moniker. This is the first NASCAR stop motion video I ever uploaded to YouTube. I think it's probably the first one I ever made. We have 400 people watching. Goodness gracious, this is insane. A lot of pressure. All right, uh, so I made this video in 2011, and I didn't really know what I was doing, but I don't know. I guess this is the one that started it all. So let's give it a watch. I'm sure many of you guys have watched all these videos before, but we're going to watch them together, and I'm, we're just going to hang out. This is going to be interesting. I'm excited to hear what my voice sounds like. Let's do this. Oh gosh. Welcome to the Ooh. 2011 Double E 500. <laughs> Let's take a look. What track looks like a circle. Race. Okay, we, we, we get rid of it. Denny Hamlin in the front row. Oh, that Hamlin voice. In the pole. Tony Stewart, I was 13. Jimmy Johnson in row 13 years old. Two. Then in row three, we have I think Jeff I still have braces on. Yeah, Ryan Newman. I would have been like, what, eighth grade? I had braces on. Then we have the 17 Probably had a bunch of Kenzen stuff in my teeth. I'm going to turn the audio down a little bit. You guys can still hear it. Then mm. in, bro, in the next row, we have Dale Jarrett, Ooh. Jeff Burton. Dennis that's good, Mark that's Martin, good. Oh, the Viagra Biffle. car, I love those. And towards the back, we got that, that Greg Biffle car is actually Brad, broken. The wheels Dave didn't even turn on that Greg Biffle car, so this is a total to lie. Command. All right, I had to turn it down a little bit. Sorry, y'all. Ooh, except those engine sounds. Oh, yeah. We are just about set to go racing. Oh, yeah. Lord, I, the commentary is going to kill me tonight. Let's keep this thing down a little bit. All right. Oh, look at that animation. Look at the aspect ratio. It's 4-3 aspect ratio. Look at the flip-flops in the background. The Lego characters. Green flag. Oh, yeah. Ham Hamlin started on pole for the first ever uh, stop motion I did. Isn't that something else? Look at their... Look how slow they're moving. 
Okay, this camera angle is actually kind of cool right here. That one camera angle is actually kind of cool. Not too bad. And the Viagra car wrecks out to start. Oh. Oh, that, that's, that's it right there. That's... There you go. And he got dumped by Jeff Burton. Even better. This is all coming back to me now. I honestly, on a lot of these, I still remember exactly what I was thinking. Look at this. Out of focus. I couldn't get the camera to focus and I didn't even try to reach... Look at this. Why did I... <laughs> why did I let that... Why did I keep that in? You can't even see it. It's so out of focus. Why did I not reshoot that? I was so lazy. Look at that. Look at that green flag. Just a square. Just a rectangle. I was so freaking lazy, man. Oh, yeah, Tony Stewart had to wreck in the first race I did. Well, he didn't wreck, wreck, he just hit the wall a little bit, hit Jimmy. Look at those car tomorrow. Look at this. What aero package are they running here? We got some of these cars with the big wings, the big spoilers. We got some that are like Gen 4, and there goes Stewart. Yeah, I knew I had to wreck Tony Stewart in my first race. I was pretty unbiased doing these stop motions, but. I definitely was biased in this first one. You guys will see that. This first one, I was extremely biased. All right. Oh God, we have 553 people watching right now. I'll try to read the chat as the night goes on. I'm just this first race. This race was not sponsored by Dr. Pepper. I don't know why I said that. Dr. Pepper did not pay me any money. They still to this day have not paid me any money. Dr. Pepper, I'm literally plugging your product everywhere I go. Can I get a little something? <coughs> <laughs> Look, I did live pit stops, though. I did actual pit stops in my first ever stop motion. I always had this idea. I'm going to pause it just for a second. I, I want, always had this idea of doing live pit stops where I would green screen myself with, like, a racer helmet and, like, a fire suit on. And I'd, like, have a bunch of little me's running around, like, pretending to change the tires. You know, I always wanted to do that, and I never did. Somebody take that idea. It's, it'd be hard to do, but somebody take that idea. Oh, I hear Linkin Park. Got to turn that down. Can't have Linkin Park. That'll copyright strike my video in 2019. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Back in there. Oh, gosh. Kyle Busch leading me. It's a JGR parade at the front of the field. A couple of Toyotas. Oh, more contact. All this, like, just weak contact in the back of the pack. I don't know what I... I was obsessed with that. Look how slow they're going. Oh, my gosh. Look at the 41 car in the back. Who even was that? Was that Rachel? Did you see that foot? Whoa, did you see the foot? Anybody see the foot back there? Whoa, gotta rewind. See the foot? I can't rewind every every ninth point. Whoa, the, the, <laughs> the foot. Yes. You knew this was my first stop motion because I probably had like, that's probably my dad's foot or my sister's foot or somebody just in the room with me and I was really lazy and didn't want to reshoot it and didn't have the nerve to tell him to leave. The foot. Yes. Yes. All right, this is this is taking forever. Let's finish this. Super real. Oh, Jeff knocked Kenseth out of the groove. Oh, Adam, he said it. He said it, not me. He said it. And Jeff Gordon gets turned. Yeah, he deserved that. <laughs> oh, I can't listen to my voice. Hopefully in the later videos. Again, out of focus. Hopefully in the later videos, I uh, sound a little better. Look at this guy. The State Farm did not pay me anything. Thank you, David, for the super chat. Voice is so cringe, Eric. By the way, early congrats on 100K. I appreciate the super chat, man. Hopefully we get to 100K pretty soon. Biffle up to second. I like to see it. You love to see it. You love to see the Biff a battling for the win here. This is back when I was a bigger Biffle fan. I think there's one more. Yeah, there we go. I knew there's one more wreck. Casey Mears? Is that really who was in the 41 back then? And Dave Blaney? Oh, Dave Blaney got dumped by Gordon. Man, I really didn't like Gordon either back then. I made Gordon the villain. Look at me out here making Gordon the villain. How long is this video? This is way longer than I feel like I remember it. All right, hurry up. we got to get to this final green white checkered. This first this first race, man, is so slow. So slow. Yeah, green white checkered. Ooh, look at that little in unison. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. My commentary is so horrible. I'm just going to turn it up and just listen to my commentary. Kyle Busch leads him into turn one and two. Kenton right down the outside. Biffle trying to find room. Kenton sticking with it on the outside. He's not even an inch. Bush and Kenton down the back stretch inside. Oh, it's close, baby. White flag. Oh, more, more people in the background. This actually doesn't look too bad this time. I got better at it as the race went on. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Hamlet. Oh. I must have hated JGR back then, too. Yep. So, Matt Kenseth won the first uh, deck. No, it's not a dex race. I guess this is just a stop motion race. So, I was clearly biased. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Jim Halpert, for the five bucks. Put this money to buying a Denny Hamlin shirt. You got it. I'll, I'll get maybe a hat. I'm more of a, I feel like Hamlin has cool hats. 
But I'm gonna have nothing. So there you go. That's that's how the first race ended. I'm gonna turn down here a little bit. That was fun. That was a good time. Kyle Busch still wrecked. Oh, I missed another super chat. Thank you, Jim Halpert. I saw that one. Thank you, Kyle Dixon. The NASCAR parody videos made me an instant fan. That's also awesome. I'll maybe have to do a NASCAR parody watch along stream. So yeah. All right. Let, let's pause it there. So that was the first. That was basically the start of it. I made that in December. No, when did I make that? November, December, November of 2011. So, uh, so yeah, that kind of started all. So in 2012 is when I started doing the double E cup series. So let's go and actually look at some deck stuff. Yes, of course, Kansas won my first race. See, the thing is I only planned on this being a one-off series. I figured I'd just do one stop motion. It would be fun. I'd have Matt Kenseth win. Cause I love Matt Kenseth. Nobody knew at the time that I liked Matt Kenseth. So it was just fine. I could have Matt Kenseth win all good and great. And then when I started to make it into an actual series, I had to be a lot less biased and I had to actually kind of like, let it just be random. And uh, so, yeah, let's start watching first ever uh, Double E Cup Series actual race. Let's first watch a nice ad here by Jeep. Oh, yes. I love that these videos are still monetized. They're not really bringing in very many views, but here we go. We're live. Oh, God, Charlotte the voice changed. Speedway, the site of the first race of oh, the, the first the ever Double moving. E Cup oh, Series. This is gross. <laughs> Starting on the pole oh, in row one it. is the 14 of races. Oh, people Rocks signed up. That's right. I had people signed up. Second is I gotta turn that down. Oh Bob my Bob lord, that literally happened just. Then in row two, just, we have. This is six months later. This is six months the after the initial. Credit. That first video I did. Row three, we have the and my voice sounds. I'm, I, I gotta skip over these. Sorry, people who signed up for those cars. I gotta skip over these. I'm not gonna watch this for every single race. That's six months, y'all. I went from 13 to 14, and it was not kind to me. Oh my lord. Where'd I get this audio? I don't even remember where this audio came from. Right, let's, let's keep it turned down a little bit here. All right, cool engine sounds great. Woohoo, yay. Yay, fantastic. All right, I'll skip all this. Let's get to the actual race. Let's get to the actual race, the first Dex, actual official Dex race. Looking good. Oh, yeah, Tony Stewart. <laughs> thank you, Joseph, for 10 bucks. My goodness, thank you, Joseph. I appreciate it. N2SC4, everybody. This donation is for the foot. <laughs> I love it. The foot. There's probably a few other feet that probably appear in some of these videos. Look at this. This isn't too bad. Oh, whoa. What was that? Hold on. What was that? I don't know. It was like legs. I'm not going to go back. It was like legs or something. See, there's legs. I was still really new at this. This was still very new to me. Oh, and the leader blows a tire. There we go. This, one's, this doesn't look too bad, though. Speed looks better on this one. Oh, look at the little, little wipe, little transition there. Yeah. Oh, I love that Kenseth car, that Kroger car. Oh, I love that one. This is The paint schemes are giving me a nostalgia as well that Tony Stewart one that Dan oh Danica oh Jeff Rexy I still wasn't a big Jeff Gordon fan oh and Montoya everybody's wrecking goodness me I was just lazy I wanted to wreck cars so I didn't have to film as many full laps I could just have them running under green still 600 people watching goodness gracious I forgot about this oh look at that terrible damage I just took some scotch tape and was just rubbing it all over there and was like let's let's see what this looks like Oh, look, I did live pit stops again, though. See, live pit stops, I realized pretty quick, were really hard to do and do well. So that's why I originally, initially, eventually I basically scrapped them all together. I like that Kyle Busch car. I don't even know if it was a real car he ever ran, but I like that paint scheme. Look at these camera angles. What is this? Uh, oh, Keselowski taking two tires. See, I tried to do, like, pitch strategy. I tried to make pitch strategy like a thing. Oh, that's right. I, gave Tony, I made Tony Stewart have a bad pit stop for some reason. I, again, I don't know. I was still biased in these first races, I guess. Really set here. We're back on We're on lap eight, and Keselowski leads after taking two tires. Gordon, yeah, Gordon goes to the garage. That's cool. That was a cool little added detail, if I do say so myself. See, the speed here doesn't look that bad. The track doesn't look that great. I mean, it looks fine. The track looks okay. The track looks decent. Speeds are, but the speed is actually pretty good. These cars are moving pretty fast, still pretty smooth. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for this one. Wow. I'm pretty sure I got worse as it went on. Do you like Paul Menard now? I, I don't know. Paul Menard, he's made me like him less this year, but I mean, I'm still pretty indifferent towards Paul Menard. Hashtag the foot. I like that. I'm trying to pay attention to the chat a little bit because this is going to be a long stream. We have. Like I said, we have like 30 videos to watch tonight. And we're only on the second one, so we're going to be here all night. Who's leading right now? Who did I have in the lead? Oh, I have Kenseth leading? Yeah, I don't think he won. He doesn't win this race. I knew that I'd look biased if I had Kenseth win both of my first two races. I couldn't let that happen. Look at that old logo. That was a disgusting logo. Oh, Kyle Busch is catching him. Oh, he's catching him all right. See, this, is, this isn't too bad. The walls look weird as heck. I don't know why I did the walls that way. I also don't know why I did white walls, because I think at this point Charlotte already had yellow walls, so I don't know why I did white walls. I was going to be lazy again. And there goes Harvick, Menard, everybody. This is back when Harvick, I had, I'd have him running in the back a lot, because back then he wasn't as good. 
Not much damage, continue. All right, cool. Kyle, Let's cool. I'm gonna skip through a little bit. Let's get to this final restart here. I think it's the final restart. Bush versus Kenseth, but Jeff Burton. I like that Wheaties car. Oh, I also I forgot about that Amp Energy car. Junior's rocking. I like that one a ton as well. Can you say hi to my brother Travis? Hi, Travis. It's the white flag. Burton. Yeah, look at this. Jeff Burton. Who 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 knew that Jeff Burton won the first ever? Oh, spoiler. Who knew that Jeff Burton won the first ever Dex race? There you go. There you go. Thank you guys for the super chats. Inside your race, good to see you. Dex greater than NASCAR because Dex doesn't drink races. I don't know. I think I, I don't know. Dex is a little, uh, little, little shadier than I think you guys give him credit for it. All about racing. Thank you for the five bucks. Wow, I appreciate it. Smitty Jones, number nine. Never forget. There he is. Yes, Smitty Jones. Yeah, some of these people signed up. I still remember a lot of these names. That's crazy. I'm like, oh, sponsored music. I just heard that was ad, that was uh, that was copyright music. Can't have that on here. Hold on, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss. Uh, yeah, did we get? Did I get two super chats about Smitty Jones? I have no idea. Brad Stanley, is this going to be published uh, on YouTube so I can watch it later? Yes, it will. So if you guys don't can't watch the entire time, yeah. So I have to watch out for this uh, copyrighted music here and there. Let's do this thing. All right, next on the agenda, we have. I'm gonna skip a few races. I'm not watching every single race. Wow, Danica ran unusually decent in this one. Where'd she finish? Oh yeah, I guess sixth. That's not bad. Dylan Rash. I don't know if Dil wonder if Dylan Rash still watches the videos. So we're gonna skip around a little bit. Let's move on now to race five. Oh, got a Disney World ad. That's fun. Let's skip this ad. I'm watching these on YouTube. One, so I can uh, I get the view. I get credit for the views. Uh, but also too because it's easier than me trying to find all these video files on my computer again because I'm pretty sure I don't have all of them. All right. Well, oh, copyright music. I think I think that's copyright music. I gotta watch out for that. Race five. Very dramatic though. This was the first race I did at Watkins Glen. Let's skip ahead to... Oh, yeah, look at some of these. Look at some of this stuff. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, I still have the Watkins Glen track. It's in the other room. I was very proud of this track. My dad helped me build it. I thought it came out really well. Starting lineup. We're going to skip starting lineups on a lot of these. Let's get to just the race itself. There we go. No, we're still not quite there. Can we get to the race? Marcus Ambrose on pole because he was good at road courses. Had to make it realistic. They roll up. Gotta get, get a copy of music. We're right, racing here at Watkins oh, Glen. Through turn one. They stay two by two. Ambrose clears Gordon for the lead through the inner loop here. Ambrose continues to lead as he will come down and lead lap one. Boyer and Almarola side by side for third right now. Ambrose continues to lead. Boyer will secure the yeah, you got that right. The budget definitely went up. On Almarola. That is true. I saw somebody said the budget Ambrose went up for this one. Yes, it did. I wonder how much money I spent on this race, on this track. Because I, I, I spent a good amount of money because I knew I'd get to use it a lot. And I did. I used this a few different times. I used this, I think I did four or five videos in, on this one. Gosh, I was really proud of it, though. Although the animation, I will say, still not great. Oh, we got a spinner. Oh, what the heck? Whoa. Whoa, he hold on. What, 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 what? That was the weirdest the thing I've ever seen. That was a terrible spin, old me. What Ambrose was I doing? Still here. He to open this was the fifth race of season one, so I skipped a few races in there. I'm just going to a lot of the most memorable the ones, the ones that had the highest view counts, the one that a lot of people talk about. Race. Look at this, though. My series was so realistic early on. Look at the people you got leading. You got Marcus Ambrose, you got Jeff Gordon, Clint Boyer. Like, those are all good road course guys, you know? Going down the back stretch, he'll take advantage of the inside lane and will clear him coming off the final turn and will take the second spot away. Now it's a cool. spin. Jimmy Johnson's in the wall. We got a spin. Jimmy and Tony. Tony Stewart. No, not Casey Tony. Kane was in the wall. Caution That's too bad. That's too bad. Seven. Tony Stewart. Jimmy Johnson. How's the audio sound, guys? I just make sure the audio is mixed. I'm trying to mess with the audio so that the, the like video Casey audio Kane is pretty good with my audio. Wall. But I don't know. Here, Johnson, Backwards forward. Yeah, that was like a quick gear loose. shift. Yeah, that was like he like was able to stop. I don't know what happened. Dang, I missed that old Quaker State car. That five car. That old uh, Casey Carl Kane number five, I missed that. I missed that one as well. Yeah, that was a cool looking paint scheme. Marcus Ambrose, two to go. Oh, Jeff gets screwed. Jeez. Who was in the 43? Was this Almarola? Yeah, this was Almarola in the 43. I had Eric Almarola running third. Look at that. This animation's a little choppy over here. I, I should have taken more photos. Not bad. Boyer the takes the lead. Ooh. Can catch Who wins it? this race? I thought I gave Ambrose the win, but maybe Boyer wins it. Final Spin corners. Nobody cares. Clint Boyer will All right, Clint Boyer wins it. Glenn. That was fun. That was a good one. That was, first, that was Watkins Glen's first appearance. I forgot about that. That's the iconic line everybody used love to quote. Spin on the back. Nobody cares. <laughs> Spin on the back. Nobody cares. Good times. Good times. Oh, yeah, that's copyright music. Let's get that out of here. All right, let's move on to another uh, classic. Uh, who's your favorite road course ringer? I always like Marcus Ambrose. I don't know if he counts as a road course ringer. 
But I did like him. Uh, hold on, that's more copyright music. I, I, some of these old races, I didn't understand copyright. Let's skip here. So Talladega, Smitty Jones again. Shout out him again, wherever he is, wherever he may be. A lot of these early races, I didn't know anything about copyright, uh, and I just used copyright music, Long and now I know first. better. I will take the green flag. Green, green, green. Now this Talladega, I built, I built this track to be used as Texas Motor Texas Speedway, right but then I realized it looked so cool we'll with the banking. I was like, let's just pretend it's Talladega, already. even though it doesn't look quite right. So a lot of people were like, that's not Talladega, that looks like something else. And I'm like, I know, I know, but I don't know, I like the, having the banking. So this was the first appearance of the banked track. This was something that very few other stop motion makers were doing at the time, if any. And so that kind of was what I was doing to try and set myself apart. Look at that, two-car tandem. This is the 2012 aero package, so you still had some two-car tandem. How hard are you cringing from these videos? Thank you for the two bucks, Baker 38 A little bit. I'm cringing a little bit, but... Not as bad the first one. I cringed on the first one a little bit. I'm not cringing as bad now. <sighs> yeah, this was also 2012 when the Roush cars were the best at super speedways. There goes Truex. Bye, Truex. Why did my commentary get so much more monotone? This race, uh, I remember this video when I uploaded it. It has 340,000 views. Goodness gracious. That's awesome. We'll restart here. The Roush this video was controversial for a number of reasons. Uh, one being the track not looking quite right. Look at Junior up there. Yeah, see, Junior was good in 2012. I mean, Junior's always good at Daytona and Talladega, so I guess that's just realistic, always. Biffle leading. Is the audio echoey? No, it might just be this uh, This might just be this video. Can you read the chat? I've been trying to read the chat, Snicker Bar. Favorite race of deck season one? Probably, I don't know about that Watkins Glen. Honestly, maybe the first race, to be honest, because it was the first... It felt like it was iconic. This is awesome. I watch every single one of those videos. Oh, thank you. I hope this is nostalgic for some some people. It is for me a little bit. Look at that freight train. See, this is the, this is pretty realistic though. I feel like this is what racing looked like in 2012 at Talladega. Right. Oh, nope, there. Well, oh goodness gracious. Oh, that's a big pilot. Oh, was that the first flip in the, in the decks race? That might have been the first uh, flip. I don't know. Heavy damage on these I don't know why I thought scotch tape looked good as damage. Forward. It really doesn't. React to the Easter eggs. <laughs> Eric, what is your favorite a active driver? I prefer a few guys now. Eric Jones is probably my favorite active driver, but I prefer a lot of people. Yeah, that Edwards flip, that might have been the first flip I did in one of these videos. I one, of the, one of the first flips I did. Heavy damage on all these race cars. You remember watching these when you were like six? That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, we miss Carl Edwards. Look at that Sonic Chitty Chitty Bang Bang just flying away with the car. I remember being, I think that was funny too. I don't think anybody else thought that was very funny. All right. This basically looked like the 2012 Daytona 500. I think that's what I was trying to impersonate. The top four are like exactly the same. No, I'm going to leave this video up. At least I'm planning to. Junior and Hamlin and Danica and Trevor Bain. Now the Roush guys. Junior gets the big right run with Hamlin pushing. Junior, there he goes outside. around the outside. This is you're about guys about to see on this lap. Why another reason why this race was uh, kind of controversial and has more dislikes than a lot of my other races. Look at Trevor Bain. Look at Trevor Bain. Trevor Bain in the 21. Danica Patrick. That car was really that 10 car is not a good paint scheme. Ooh. Danica Patrick wins. That was another reason this video was controversial because this was, I don't even think she was full-time in NASCAR yet. She was still part-time, cup start, making some Xfinity starts and everything. And she won this race early on. And I think a lot of people were, uh, were upset by that, but the series is still pretty random. I wasn't I wasn't a, a significantly biased or anything. All right, let's move on. We got Homestead Miami. We're just going to go ahead and let's first watch this ad from Smart Home Security. But uh, no, for... Uh, we're going to go, uh, we're skipping ahead again. This is the finale of season one, the first ever series finale I did. This one, you guys are about to see what made this one special. What is this music? The Double E Cup Series. Yes, it is. Prepares for its season Look finale. Look how it says Eric Eastup is live now. He knows that I'm live Florida. on my channel, so it's giving me this like, notification. Get out of here. Race 10, the final race of the series. Oh, gosh. We're getting ready to begin. All right, let's skip ahead a little bit. No, we don't want to skip ahead too much. You guys about to see, oh, I haven't watched this in so long. How cringy is this about to be? This is going to be cringe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi, I'm Eric. <laughs> one with Eric and Eric. We're here to bring the action this afternoon. So, with one race to go, Matt Kenseth has a five-point lead over Kyle Busch, while Greg Bickle and Dale Earnhardt Jr. are 11 and 12 points back, respectively. Yeah. Right now, this is a cool effect, though. Give me credit. I always had a green screen set up in my bedroom. There, you're this is a cool brain. effect. 
But that haircut, that was basically me in like middle and like freshman year of high school. Nice. Read through some comments. I've been reading as many comments as I can, John. We got 663 people watching. It's tough, tough to read through all these. But I appreciate so the support. Thank you for the super chat. There's not a mullet. It's long in the front and the back. That's not a mullet. The problem I had here was my hair is pretty naturally curly, yeah, no, but I decided that I was going to brush the curl out of it. I talked to him earlier this morning, and he told me his goal was just to go out there and run a good, calm, clean race. Fun. I bet you felt beside yourself. Now let's go track. Oh, that little glitch. Rick Erickson? What is his name? <laughs> yeah, guys, I just spoke to both Kyle Busch and Matt Kansas, and both told me that they were going to run a pretty safe race. Look at this effect, though. It looks like I'm standing Bush on my Lego that track. Gonna have that's kind of cool. Kansas, he's going to have to make a move for the win. That's the only way he's going to be able to beat it. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I look stupid as heck, but the, the idea was there. The, three, the idea was there. So Let's skip ahead. Let's we'll watch the actual race now. This this is... This is... This is, this Matt Bayer this is and dubstep. I thought was going to make the video sound cooler. All right, let's actually watch. Now, this one, I remember this one. I thought it was a good race, but the, the cars are moving way too fast here. There was too choppy of animation, but like, look at that. I mean, that looks cool. It's fast, but it's kind of choppy. So it was all right. Bush and Kenseth line up second and third. Remember, they're both in the championship. Yeah, you guys like that green screen, huh? That's the same green screen I used for Out of the Group today. Honestly, it probably is, actually. It probably is the exact same green screen I used for Out of the Group now, just in a different spot. As to pull away from oh goodness! Oh, thank you, LaserNet videos for the super chat. Your stop motions are my favorite stop motions. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, they are moving really fast here. It is like I, I'm getting like a, having a headache. Look at oh, so that was kind of cool actually. Oh, and the damage doesn't even look too bad. I mean, it still looks like dumb scotch tape, but that that doesn't even look too bad. Okay, that spin was kind of good. He just got loose. That looked kind of good. Okay, I'll give myself some credit for that. But overall, these cars are just flying. I was just like, I had like probably three days to make this, and I was just like, let's just make the cars move like 16 feet every frame. Yeah. Weird lighting. Is the lighting weird? I guess lighting is a little weird, too. I think I was filming this in my living room at the time, so I had a big window next to it. Oh, I mean, read through the comments on old videos. Oh, thank you, John Doe. Thank you again for the super chat. I, that's a good idea, actually. That would be funny. If I scrolled through some of these comments, I'm sure it's a lot of, uh, it's just a lot of sign me up for this guy, sign me up for this car, why'd you wreck him, so-and-so, I like so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. But that would be a funny video idea, read through some old comments. I appreciate the, uh, the idea. So if I remember in this video, I think it was Matt Kenseth was the points leader, and I think it was like Kyle Busch was the second place guy who was close to beating him. Two dollars from inside your ace, thank you. You must really hate Tony Stewart. I, I don't, I, Tony Stewart I thought did pretty well. He did win a championship. I don't remember what seeds. I think he won the season four championship, which we'll get to. We will watch that. Spoiler alert. So I didn't hate Tony, I definitely didn't like Tony Stewart, but I didn't, I, it was all random. This was all random. Him wrecking out, in, I'm not watching every race in season one. I might just accidentally pick the races today that uh, he did wreck, wreck out in. So that's funny. I like that old Joey Logano 20 14. car as well. Close to the end here. Oh, yeah, mid-pack battles. Kyle Busch just driving away with it. This is kind of, kind of boring, not going to lie. Still here. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. My commentary is terrible. Oh, there's a wreck. Oh, not Jeff Burton. He won the first race of the year. No, Jeff. How many laps was this race? 20, I think? Let's see. All right, yeah, it was 20 laps. 17 out of 20. Four to go. I love that old Ryan Newman paint scheme. Had like a matte finish. It was really weird, honestly, but it was a cool look. Three wide. That doesn't work. Oh, and that's why it doesn't work. Oh, another caution. I mean with the cautions, man. The overdoing it with these cautions. It's like Eldora last night. Too many caution laps. Cut to the race. Cut to the race. My goodness. All right, so Kenseth had a four-point lead. Oh, this is good to me. I updated the point standings. So Junior is not too far back. Biffle still has a shot at it. Actually, he might have been eliminated at that point. I don't know how I did the points back then. We'll restart. Three to go. Newman has three laps to go. Wait, how's it three laps to go? Were we on stretch. like lap 19 Junior's or something? To third. Now he's to take I don't understand second. my scoring here. One, he makes oh, Newman, Newman gets screwed! Oh! So Junior, does Junior win this race? Oh, it's the oh the championship battlers are battling for second. Oh! Dale Junior wins. And yeah, Matt Kenseth, of course, wins the, uh, wins the championship. I was still a little biased back then. Although I think I had Kenseth win a race in season one. I don't remember which race it was I had him win. One of the other races. And uh, and I remember that one was completely chosen at random. I was just like, yay, Kenseth. Let's do it. That's really all I could do. I, I couldn't tell if he was trying to wreck or not. All right, cool. So what are the final point standings? Or what are the final point standings for the season? There you go. Season one, final point standings. Smitty Jones with a good uh, top five. <laughs> Oh, goodness. What are your thoughts on Homestead being early in the schedule next year? It'll be interesting. It'll be different. I don't know if it'll be better. I don't know if it'll be worse, but 
It'll be something. All right, now, that was season one. So we have seven more seasons plus the Tournament of Champions to go through tonight. So this is going to be a long stream. I'm telling you guys, we've already been going for half an hour. I might have to pick up the pace a little bit when we get a little later into it. Uh, but let's see. I, w I did do some, uh, some holiday specials later on. So that's what this next one is. This was the first Halloween special I did. Season two, race three, I did a Halloween special. First, we have another ad because it's YouTube and there's ads. I should, like, turn on ad blocker or something just for this. Look at this little skit I did. Let's, let's watch this little skit I did. I did a skit at the beginning of this episode, of this race. Oh, that's spooky. Weird breathing sound. I don't know who that was. That's just like a weird sound effect. Oh, wait. That's right. Do I kill Tony Stewart again? Ooh, this is getting really spooky. Oh, jeez. Jump scares. Oh, no. That was good. Classic. Classic. Ooh, there's music too. That's jammed in this. Yeah, I was really hating on Tony Stewart back then. Alright, let's skip ahead to the race so we don't have time to watch every single one of these. First ever special at New Hampshire of all tracks. Another, I was two, still doing the paper Stewart's tracks for a lot of season Montoya two. Montoya and Stewart side by side for a second. Montoya trying to take that position away, but Stewart. I, I like doing the little outside. skits. The skits I thought would be fun. Montoya close to clearing him now. As Edwards trying to. Why put did they have the race audio down so low? Now like it sounds like I can barely hear the car spot. engines. Battle for third now. Now we got spin and turn oh, one. Truex goes leader. around there. Martin you go. There you go. Let's skip through some of the cautions here. Like oh, oh the spider! Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's being carried away. Nice. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> we'll restart on lap six here. Juan this one's Pablo moving a lot more fast paced. This is a lot more fast paced than season outside. one. Season one, I like Edward to draw it out for time. Lane work here at this short track. And season he's gonna two, I was a lot more uh, quicker with it. Stewart will take the second spot. Junior trying to take third. This still seems a little too fast. I feel like for New Hampshire, it feels like the cars are still moving a little too quick. Look at this, this is right around the time Stewart and Edwards, this is uh, 2012. This is the year after the two of them had that epic playoff battle in the, uh, in the real NASCAR chase. This is, I thought that would be a fun rivalry to play with in this one. Jeff Gordon now trying to go underneath. Yeah, I do sound bored in the video. You're right, Keith. I do, I, do, I do sound bored. I'm doing good, Derek Marks. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing absolutely great. Oh, Gordon got a little sideways right there. Yeah, this, this series was weird. The racing, I feel like, was pretty realistic, but the themes were very unrealistic. Like, there's literally spiders there on the infield. What is happening? Giant spiders. Have a hard time though. Now there's a spin and going into oh, turn there's three. a spin, but oh, Trouble. Jesus! There's a huge wreck. Many cars involved. Goodness gracious! Yellow is back out here on lap good 11. Good times, good times. Jimmy Johnson is in the wall. Big crash. Five, six cars involved here. Trevor Bain. <coughs> oh, I didn't even notice the Dan pumpkin with my logo the worst stickered on there. Like what? Oh. What was I trying to do there? See on the re team. Three oh, laps to go. Three Stuart laps to go. Edwards again for a one, and Edwards making that outside lane work again. He was able to do it earlier, and now he's got a half a car length advantage. Coming to two to go now. Still even This is a good Stewart, battle. I like Edwards having Stewart versus Edwards. We got two laps to go. They made a little contact there. When did you get into Coming NASCAR? Two, uh, 20, 2004 is when I started watching NASCAR. I was like six, seven years now old, Gordon something like that. trying to make something happen on that outside lane around Stewart. White flag is now in the air. Carl Edwards is taking the lead. Tony Stewart trying to The Christmas to special finish and the, how you added Edwards the cars to the tree was funny. Well, uh, just wait one moment. We might be looking at that one. Carl Edwards wins. Still couldn't give Tony Stewart a break. Classic. Classic. Carl Edwards wins the first ever special edition of the W Cup. Yeah, Stewart oh, look, I look at second out of focus picture. Third. That's, oh gosh, that's something else. All right, that was a cool burnout, I guess. Although, I don't know what that really was. All right, let's move on. Next one, Martinsville, later that season. Oh, another, another nice ad. Why do I get all these HelloFresh ads? What is, with the, what is with the HelloFresh? All right. All right, Martin, well, here we go. Look at that. If you're, if you're in the series, please comment. I want people to comment so I knew they were watching. Back then, I was still afraid people weren't watching. Let's see, Martin's. It was the first time, time I did Martinsville, I think. I was always proud of the way Martinsville looked. Look at this grainier quality. Look, I did finally figure out, though, how to make the aspect ratio right. See, there's no black bars on the side or anything. No backflip for Carl. That came later. I did do a race later on in, like, season five or six with a backflip. I don't remember where it was. I don't remember, I don't remember when I did that for, but that was, that was fun. I remember doing that. 
Is up front now. Keslowski trying to find room around. I know, I like the Eric Eastman's live still, still in the top corner. That's really weird. And through three and four, he's going to try and take the lead. There's a Dex's spin. Dex's new partner, Hello, Hello, Hello Fresh. Jones. Yeah, Hello Fresh. If you want to sponsor a stop motion series, I would gladly come back and do more of them. All right, Johnson gets dumped by Hamlin. Ooh, little Johnson versus Hamlin rivalry. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. What encouraged you to start making stop motion races? Uh, I remember watching, I watched a couple of them on YouTube, and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool, that's kind of neat. Some other people had already made some, guys like Affleck Cup Series, I'm sure many of you guys are aware of, he'd already been doing them for a short bit, and I saw some of his, and his were pretty darn good, so I was like, oh, that looks awesome, and I had a bunch of old toy cars, if you watched, remember the first one we watched tonight, I had a lot of old die cast. I was like, I can do one with these. I can make something happen. And so I just kind of decided to try making my own. And it turned out to be decent or immediately got more views than anything else on my channel at the time. So that's what decided, made me decide to uh, do some more wrecks. Wow, all of Michael Walter Racing just wrecked. Yeah, that's, what, that, that, that's what caused me to decide to do more races. Yeah, ACS shout-out. He deserves a ton of shout-outs tonight. Uh, he still will do stop motion. I, he hasn't done, I guess he hasn't done one in a while, but he still recently was doing stop motions. As Boyer went around and collected his teammates, Mark I literally wrecked all three Mark Michael Walter racing cars right there. I don't know how I did that. Oh my god! <laughs> wildlife on the Jesus! <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I don't remember. Goodness gracious! I don't remember the tiger. Oh no, and a wreck. Oh, I wrecked Junior on the restart. Oh, that's where all the dislikes. Everyone started disliking that because of that. Why did I wreck? Why did I put a tiger on the track? I don't remember that. I don't remember that thought process. Look at Austin Dillon there in an Xfinity car, or whatever it's called, Nationwide Series car. Look at that. And Austin Dillon's going to take the second spot away from our pole sitter Kyle Busch. Four to go now. This is major 2012 vibes. I agree. I really agree. Breaking news: Tiger devours Clint Boyer. Pretty much. Thanos snapped. Yeah. Thanos in Tiger form. This is a good battle, though. Austin Dillon in a nationwide car. This is back when Austin Dillon was still like considered a, the next big thing. Ooh, we won three wide at Martinsville. No. And there goes Tony Stewart. I did wreck Tony Stewart a lot these first couple seasons. I <laughs> I don't remember wrecking Tony Stewart this much. I didn't have that big of a grudge against him, y'all. I swear. I don't know why I wrecked. Is it just because? Is it just the ones I've selected tonight that we're seeing all the wrecks? I don't think I wrecked Tony Stewart that much. Hey, thank you, Nolan Racing, for the super chat. I appreciate that a ton, man. You should have green screen you backflipping for Carl. I can't do a backflip. Not even like on a trampoline or anything. I don't think. I'd probably break my neck. Oh, this was fun. Austin Dillon trying to hold off the Martinsville master. Oh boy. I was really proud of this finish at the time. Oh, oh, but Dillon keeps his foot in it and beats him. I was proud of that finish when I made it. I thought that one. I thought that came out really good, but I don't know. I hope I didn't. I don't think. Man, I feel bad. I'm, re I'm wrecking wow. Tony Stewart a lot this season. Jeff Gordon and Austin Dillon were this, this, this was rough. The final two turns. Freshman, well, freshman Dillon's year at me. 14 year old me was had a grudge, man. Dylan Rash, what a name. What a name. All right, this was a this is a fan favorite. We're about to get to another fan favorite. So I'm gonna do like an alert. It's like like fan favorite alert. This one was when I made it. It blew up, and I remember being really proud of it at the time. So let's do the season two. Christmas special. Are we going to get an ad first? Thank you, Inside Uranus. Take a shot for every Tony Stewart wreck. You got it. That sounds great. That sounds... That, that, that would kill us. That would kill us at this rate. We would die. We would all be dead. You should watch the Kyle Bush rap maybe later. Maybe if the stream goes completely off the rails. Here we go. The car's in the tree. I should just decorate a real Christmas tree with a bunch of my diecast cars. Just put them on all the branches and everything. The Christmas special. Race That'd be kind of cool, not going to lie. Look at that. I'm, I'm still proud of this video, not gonna lie. The second special of the W Cup series, the first was earlier this year. In My commentary still sucked, but all right, let's move on. Let's get to the actual race. A little Santa Village Town. I never had a name for this thing. <laughs> Let's just call it the, the snowmobile land, snow land. Let's just call it Ice World. Ice World. Ice World. My commentary was so bad. Why is Jamie McMurray starting second? Oh, shoot, shoot, and he's wrecked. Wow. I wiped him out on lap one, turn one, lap one. And I didn't even throw a caution? Gosh, maybe I hated McMurray even worse. Yikes. Inside race, thanks for the two. I'm pretty sure Tony Stewart will do well here. He's running second. Oh, wait. Oh, no, but I remember how this one ends. Oh, no. Inside your race, you're right. Oh, damn, there goes Danica. There she goes. All right, that's fine. That is what it is. I forgot how this one ends. No spoilers. This one does I don't think this one ends very well for Tony either. Look at the 
replay Stuart oh yeah the replay is bad there for Danica that's not good no oh when she goes into the tree but that's right when you get wrecked we'll they, I put green. you in the tree lap four Stuart now leads see we got Marcus Ambrose Marcus Ambrose up front another road outside. course ringer you know it's a road course I had to have Ambrose up near the front and Biffle for some reason and Biffle will now Jalen Hart Jr. looking at third Clint was drinking five hour energy and then crashed that was probably about right Biffle's got a big run he's trying to make a pass on Stuart this one I do remember how this one ends but I didn't I forgot that it was Tony Stewart who was involved Tony Stewart fans, I'm so sorry. I love that Dale Jr. paint scheme, though, that Amp Energy one that he ran in 2012 or whatever year this was. Yeah, that's 2012. That's, that was such a cool He only ran it a couple times, I think, in real life. My commentary could have been so much better, so much more li livelier. The commentary was really dry. Oh, I remember this. This is a cool camera angle. Oh, and around he goes. Blah, into the trees. Oh, no. And the snow on the track. Kane to spin out the, the, when do I have Rudolph? Stops. I had Rudolph come out here and do a uh, cleanup. Where's Rudolph doing the cleanup? Right now, back Didn't I have Rudolph doing the cleanup? Back. Hold on. Tough break Thought I had Rudolph doing the cleanup. There, Stop showing the cars. But there he is. Yeah. We'll clean up clean the that track, the boy. Again, Classic. Now, I was proud of that as well. I, mean, this, I, I know I pride myself on a realistic series, but this race is not realistic in any shape of any way, shape, or form. That camera goes good. I like that. All the snow front, banks Tony everywhere. Stewart Tony Stewart versus Greg Biffle. Ooh, They're ooh, ooh. Right. Doran. Stewart under Biffle. Two laps to go as they head through one the track is blocked. Two. Where's that? Yeah, I see that. That's a good one. Ah! <laughs> Dale Jr. into second. See, okay. Full disclosure on this race. I knew this one was going to get a lot of views because of all the work that went into it and the, the unique track and everything. So I knew this was going to be a one that was watched by a lot of people. So full disclosure, I kind of intended on having Dale Jr. win basically the moment I started. I was like, I'll let Dale Jr. win. Make, give, the, give all the fans something to cheer about. But I forgot that, he, that it's Tony Stewart. Oh, no, into the snow. <laughs> that's still good. That's still good. That's all good. The Christmas special. I could have done better with the commentary again, but that was that was something wow, else. Wow, what a finish, Tony Stewart. Is, and I wrecked Tony Stewart again. I, that's just the my ammo at this point. Tony Stewart wrecked. Tony Stewart in the in the wall, in the snow, in the everything, up on his roof. Oh, that was classic though. That was classic. That was another. That was a fun one. You guys want to talk about classic though? Oh, you guys want to talk about classic though? This next race might be the most iconic race I did. If I do say so myself, the season two finale, this is one that a lot of people would always come up to me like, this is the first race I ever watched from you and, and it's what made me subscribe and stuff. How many views does this video have? Oh, 1.3 million views. God, I miss when my channel is getting millions of views. Oh, I miss that. I miss that. This one, this one had, this one was wild. I put a lot of work in this one as well. Rolls into Daytona International Speedway. So this is the season two finale. Daytona I don't remember what the Beach points looked like. I think it was like one. Burton and Hamlin and like Biffle and the people battling for it. All right, let's watch this. Let's watch this race. This one, I was proud of this one at the time. Again, the track doesn't quite look like Daytona, but it looks close enough. I couldn't figure out how to make a good looking super speedway track. It was too hard. Look at this. Oh, I was a little, I'm probably, I had like a sore throat when I filmed this too. So my voice sounds raspy. Kevin Harvick's up there with Joey Logano. Matt Kenseth's coming up through the middle. Listen to that. And it looks like Matt Kenseth it's going to take the lead, and there's contact. And there goes Kevin Harvick is there around along with Danica Patrick and Joey Logano. Caution is out on lap two. That's what, that's what you expect, Logano. I didn't dislike As Logano or anything either. He just wasn't a bad you know, Logano wasn't running that so good back then. It doesn't do a whole lot to shake up that. But still, it's a tough break for all in. There's both Danica Why and Logano. Why are all these pictures out of race. focus? Matt Why are they so bad at that? leads us to the restart on lap four. Casey Kane to his outside. Has now hit the inside lane. It's a really good restart. Look at Trevor Bain. Trevor Bain and Jamie McMurray. Trevor on the Bain all the way up to the lead or to that to top two. As he commands that middle lane, Jamie McMurray. Why is it a quad oval? Lane, if you notice, I, I worked with like track lead. pieces and I just didn't have enough pieces that fit correctly. I was hard to now I just didn't Kenzie have any custom pieces made. Now, Matt Kenseth moves up in front of Jamie Logano as Tony Stewart's in control of that inside lane. Jamie McMurray starting to come back. Look at Tony Stewart acting like he's not going to get wrecked in this race. Kenseth moves up the block. A little bit of I don't remember if I wrecked Tony Stewart in this race. I really hope I don't. Is able to hold the lead Let's now. turn it down a little bit. I really hope I don't wreck Tony Stewart in this race. Who was in the 22 back then? Was it Kirk Busch? No. Who was in the 22 back then? Was it Sam Hornish or uh, AJ Allmendinger? Oh. Oh, it is Sam Hornish Jr. Was it really? It says AJ Allmendinger on the roof, but that was back when Allmendinger got, you know, 
temporarily suspended from NASCAR. Oh gosh, we still have more than 550 people watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. This has been this has been fun. We still got a long way to go. This has been a fun time so far. I was really proud of this wreck. I did in two different camera angles. See, I did this camera angle. I had two cameras set up for this wreck. I, remember. I had it from behind here, and I had that other reverse angle as well. I was proud of that as well. I didn't I didn't reshoot it twice. I shot it once, but with two cameras going at the same time, and that was tricky to edit, but that was fun. All right, here we go. Final restart, everybody. Contenders. Championship contenders. Oh, it's tough. And Greg Biffle almost won the season two championship. How's that about to happen? Back when it was called. Look at Tony Stewart leading this race. I know I wrecked. I probably wrecked him. I guarantee you, I probably wrecked Tony Stewart. Two laps to go. This is probably the most iconic 30 seconds of W Cup Series for the longest time. Oh, there goes Tony. He's falling back. Sorry, Tony. I miss that old blue deuce. That old looking car was, that was awesome. White flag, Roush boys up front, but you gotta dodge there in third. Three wide for the lead. Ooh, look at Biffle. Look at Biffle getting squirrely. Oh! And Stewart gets wrecked, but oh! Oh, of course, I forgot Kenseth wins this race. Why does all my most viewed races Kenseth wins? I think there's more Matt Kenseth like fans out there than, than people are letting on. Of course I wrecked Tony Stewart, but yeah. Keselowski goes flipping. That was the biggest wreck I think I'd done at the time, and it looked pretty good. I was pretty proud of how it came out, too. Yeah. That was good times. Good times. Thank you, Nolan Racing, again for the Super Chat. We want more Dex races. We might have to make some more happen at some point soon. I, it's just hard, hard thing is with time and resources these days. Uh, but I'd like to do, I'd like to do some more. I wish I wish it was easier to make them more frequently and still uh, keep that going. All right, let's let replay really quick and finish. Biffle came down trying to block, got spun. Hamlin sneaks through. Keselowski does a barrel roll. Stewart's involved as usual. And there it is. There it is. All right. So let's move on to season three. We're still going to keep this good Trident pace going. Let's move on to season three. Trident gum. Don't need that. Or whatever that is. Is that what these are? All right. Mutant that. Oh, yeah. That's right. Rock Gator was... I forgot he sponsored those cars. Should All right. Be. Hold on. No, I, don't know, I don't remember what no, music's no, copyright, which was not. I don't think no, this race had any copyright issues. Well, right Michigan. Right I didn't do Michigan yeah, very often. I made a custom three. track for this. That's why it's super yeah, wide. See how wide this front stretch is? This is, like, way wider than most other tracks. See, like, like this is narrow right through here. But that front stretch, I made it super wide just because I wanted it to really look like Michigan. And this is a this is a fun one to do. This is a good one to do. Three, like I could do three wide. I could do four wide really easily. Look at that. That's what made this so fun. I could do four wide. That was so cool. I still have that uh, track piece in the in the other room somewhere. It's huge. That that whole like this whole Michigan front stretch is like as, almost as tall as me. No, okay, it's not almost as tall as me. It's like two thirds as tall as me. It's like four feet long though. Oh, so this was the first race, not the first race, the first season though with Gen 6 cars. I was really excited when the first Gen 6 cars came out and everything because they look, the Gen 6, I know they, you know, they drive iffily and they're not necessarily producing the best racing. Ooh, that was a cool crash. Ooh, the tire skids in the grass. I was, I was focused for this race, yeah. But uh, the Gen 6 cars looked cool, especially the first die cast. When I first got them, I was like, dang, these things, these things look cool. This is a custom car, obviously, but <laughs> these things look cool. Can I recommend a song? I'm not going to play any songs on here. I'll get struck and down, probably. But I'll listen to songs later. I feel like 2013 had the best mix of paint schemes. Look at all those paint schemes. I love that Zest one. I like the Red Husky one. I like Gordon's. I like Bush's. I like Stewart's. I like everyone's paint scheme right there. Like, man, 2013 had the best paint schemes. Don't at me. <laughs> the best overall paint schemes. Not saying any one of these paint schemes is like the greatest thing ever. But look at them. Oh, even even these. Even Bert. Even the Caterpillar car. Look at that. That's a cool looking car. Let's see if Tony Stewart can escape season uh, three without many wrecks. Let's do a green white checkered. How about that? Let's do a nice green white checkered here. Let's do this thing. Eric, do you play guitar? Not really. I can kind of play, but not very well. Look at Stenhouse going for the win. The oh, oh I forgot that about that. Kenseth gets taken Hamlin. out. Hamlin gets involved. Gibbs gets destroyed. Oh, I played. I forgot I played audio from that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Denny Hamlin. I had that audio. I remember I was watching on YouTube videos and I found a clip. I don't remember what that's from. It was Matt Kenseth mad at his like crew guys or something for doing something. And he said, uh, so he said, like, yeah, thanks for that, you guys. Thank you, or whatever. Really sarcastically. And I was, and when I heard that, when I was watching a video, I don't remember what video it was, and I heard that audio, I was like, 
Oh, I gotta use that for like the. Uh, I gotta use that for a video. I gotta like wreck Kenza and use that clip or something of him making it sound like he's mad at, at people. But uh, yeah, that was that was cool. I forgot I did that. We'll try it again for a second time, and we can do it up to three times. But hopefully we'll finish it right here. Ricky Stenhouse now. All right, green green. Look how wide. I love how wide this track is. That was so fun. Look at Edwards take it three wide. Oh, that was fun. I'm on a wide track like that just opened up so many new possibilities. Look at Ambrose riding the wall back there. Oh, he's going to pass two cars on the straightaway maybe. Yeah. Look at all the Fords. I like this finish too. I was proud of this race. Three wide in the final corners. Does Ambrose win this? No, Edwards wins this. Yeah, there we go. I honestly forgot for a second. I forgot who wins my own series. That was cool. Look at that photo finish. Oh, look at all the camera angles. Ooh, three Fords. Nose to nose to nose. Oh, that's a good one. That was classic. I like that finish a lot, too. All right, let's do another Talladega. Season 3, Race 5. This was technically the 4th of July special, but I don't really remember doing anything. 4th of July. Oh, I just copied that music. Can't play that. Can't play that. People will get mad at me. Let's skip ahead of the race. Skip ahead of the race. All right, green flag, let's Down do it. the back stretch, Matt Kenseth oh. in line. He ducks to go. the inside. On the outside, that's Brad Keselowski and Clint Boyer. Keselowski up front. Edwards gets sucked into the middle. Now Keselowski hey, thank you again, Nolan Racing. Do you have any new Mustang die cast? I have one or two uh, of the small cars. I don't have any big ones for 2019 yet. We'll have to get one at some point. Yeah, Tony lived through that one, guys. Wow, yes. Tony Stewart somehow didn't wreck in that, that, that segment. <laughs> As the new leader is the two car of Keselowski, Dan Patrick, Patrick, Patrick up in the top five. Well. See, she was actually running good at some of the plate tracks, here. though, back then. Like, she, you know, finished eighth in her first ever race at Daytona. Or her first, uh, in 2013, I guess. I don't think it was her first ever race. But 2013, she finished eighth at Daytona. Yeah, commentary's getting a little bit better. You lost all your all your NASCAR diecast. How, how'd that happen? See, wait, that, that, that right there was why this is a 4th of July special. The replay is in red, white, and blue. Oh, oh it's themed. Oh, goodness. Special. All right, let's get back here. Ooh, yeah, that's a cool camera angle. I like that shot. That was a nice shot. Ooh, that old Best Buy car for Stenhouse. Oh, forgot about that one. Or that Pepsi car for uh, Jeff Gordon. Oh, there's a spin. I like that Casey Kane car. Classic. That's a good Casey Kane car. And and too many wrecks, man. Edwards too many freaking wrecks. No, but that black Patrick Pepsi Max car for uh, Jeff Gordon. That's a good one. That was good. This is your favorite race. Glad you liked it. Second Patrick second place chase. You like it because of who won? I don't even remember who won this race. The second spot. Now she's gonna try and get the lead. I don't remember who won. I think Boyer wins, but I don't want to spoil it for everybody. Danica to the lead. Danica to the lead. Can you show us your cars in a separate video? Maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, I remember that Smithfield car. Yeah, yeah, I see the comment there from Alan. That Smithfield car, I still caught a glimpse of it. There's Stuart wrecking. Stuart involved. Tony Stewart wrecked. There it is. There it is. There it is. I forgot. I wrecked Tony Stewart a lot. I really don't remember wrecking him this much. No wonder people uh, hated these videos so much. Yeah, the old Almirola Smithfield car, man. That is a weird-looking car. Coming around turn four. Coming to the white flag. Dale Earnhardt Jr. coming to the rescue on the white flag. <laughs> Thank you, inside your house. Did Tony come to your house and kick your nuts? No. I just died. I know I was, I always, uh, Tony Stewart was my least favorite driver growing up. Oh, Jr. ran Edwards off the track. Oh, oh and he gets turned. Him. He turned him. Oh, he turned him. Oh, everybody's wrecking now. Oh, look at that old Kyle Busch 18 car. I don't really remember that car either. That old gold and green interstate. Yeah, look at that. What is that? Let's watch this replay again really quick. I mean, I sure, I'm sure I showed the replay. I was proud of this spin as well. I, I was I was kind of imitating the Edwards flip into the catch fence. Like Kenseth, in this case, was like Newman in that wreck. This is a fun race. I forgot this is a good one. This is a good race. Even with the controversial finish, a lot of people were mad that I wrecked Junior at the end. Anytime I wreck Junior, people get mad. Clint Boyer, this was... Oh, was this, this was pre-Spin Gate, though, so I think people still like Clint Boyer a little bit. What year is this? 2013? Yeah. People still liked... This is July, July. So yeah, people are still on Clint Boyer's side at, at this point in, in the season, or in, in their careers. So, all right. Next one. This is a very special one we're about to come up on next, guys. Still season three, race eight. You guys know what this is. This is another, if I do say so myself, this is another groundbreaking race in the stop motion community. This video, I don't know, this video it, it blew up and, uh, and it, 
inspired, I think, a lot of other uh, really creative people to make other versions of it as well, or other Eldora-type races. So, yeah, Eldora. Let's see this. Cup cars at Eldora. And first, another... Is this another Disney World ad? This, you know, Google knows what I like. They know I like Disney World, so they're sending me all these Disney ads. I don't like Starbucks, though. I don't know what's up with all the Starbucks ads. I maybe had two things in my life at Starbucks, so... All right, let's see. Let's see if I wreck Tony Stewart at Eldora. I don't know if this is copyright music Welcome again, so I'm going to skip past it. With Paul Menard. Yeah, first ever oh, yeah, dirt race stop motion. Jimmy I'm pretty Jim. sure. I don't remember if this, this was the first stop motion Jim. video with Mark a dirt track, but it was. Zero I think it was the first like full race though. I think I'd seen somebody else make a dirt cars, track and like do like a quick like 20 one. second video of cars yeah, driving on it, but nobody else had done a full race yet until I did this one. So I'll take credit for that. Look at that. Look at that dirt. The track looks like a total mess, but the dirt looks kind of cool. I did a better version of Eldora later on. Hey, this is already a more entertaining race than last night. Oh, there goes Jimmy and Mark Martin's involved. Oh, that's kind of unrealistic because Jimmy actually does have some off-road background. He probably wouldn't have spun out like a noob right there. That's pretty unrealistic. There's no grip. You jump the cushion, as they say. And Jimmy, you saw it look like his car just wiggled and then snapped loose. A lot of people always asked, uh, what, uh, bring out our first car. You'd have to, you must have some balls to wreck Tony in his own track. Everyone That's true. I didn't think about Kyle that. Bush I don't think I wrecked Tony Stewart in this race, but we'll see. Uh, no, a lot of people always ask, is that real dirt? No, it's not real dirt. It's fake, like, craft dirt. I went to, like, Michael's or some arts and craft store, and they had, like, fake, like, plastic dirt. But it's, like, a little, like, just a bag with, like, pebbles. I still have it probably somewhere. Um, so it's not real dirt. It, real dirt would have stained the cars or messed, got been really messy. Uh, this is just little, like, crunk, little, like, plastic bits. That Some of them would still get stuck in the cars a little bit. Like, I'd have to, like, shake them out of the cars occasionally. But at least it didn't stain them, and it didn't permanently damage them or anything. Still um, look at Kane there, down there at the very bottom. Look at the slide. And I like how, I didn't mean to do this, but the track, now the there, dirt all kind of naturally pushed up against there. the wall. And See how it's sort of all pushed against the wall? See, that's also unrealistic. I feel like Boyer wouldn't have spun out like that either. Another caution is out here on lap eight. Two look at that out-of-focus photo. But yeah, so it, it like naturally developed kind of a cushion up by the wall. Not exactly, but a little bit. Sell the dirt on eBay for a fortune. I don't know about that. This video is 2 million views. Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious. Kyle Larson drove the 14 in this race? Did I just say that? Wait, what? What did I say? Did I make Kyle Larson? Oh, is this during? When this, was this when Tony Stewart was like injured? Oh, and in the back stretch, there's a spin. Oh, there's Keselowski just wrecking. Kind of wasted time. Oh, it's Princess Peach. Heck yeah! Wait, hold on. What just happened? Why is Princess Peach here? Oh, I see. We got the Mario characters taking care of us. That's nice. With me here to the first race this season. Oh yeah, I didn't Texas. watch this race tonight, but this was a early in the season I had a rivalry and the between Dale Jr. and uh, Kyle Busch. And ended up taking each other out. Yeah, I had that, that rivalry between Kyle Busch and, uh, and Dale Jr. battling uh, for the lead, so I had to kind of come back into the fray restart. here. It'll be a green -white checkered here. At Eldora, I had Jr. versus Busch part two. Two to go. Ooh, he put Busch in the wall a little bit there, rubbed him up, used him up right there. Why is Paul Menard in the top five? What was, what was 14, 15 year old me thinking? Ooh. Oh, this is a good finish. I forgot how good this finish was. Ooh, the slide job, slide job. Oh, he got, oh, he got him. He got him. That was a fun one. I like this race. This was a good time. This was great. Wow, what a crazy Why are all these pictures out of focus? What is with me not being able to take a normal photograph? Last corner looked like that was a good that was a good finish. I, I, I like that one. Clear, Ooh, he dug into the dirt. You can even see it. I still don't know what Paul Menard was doing there in the top five. What was I doing? Take the win. Look, I predicted the slide job, slide job meme before it even happened. I don't even know how you do burnouts on dirt. There it is. Congratulations. Nice. All right. So let's move on now. Season three finale, Charlotte. Why do I have this race on here? I guess because it's the finale, right? I wanted to watch all the finales because the finales were always. I put a lot of work into the finales usually. All right, Charlotte Motor Speedway looking good, looking Pulls good. Let's skip through here a little bit. Who is the championship contender in this one? And this and gets uh, Matt Kenseth is 8th in points. Eighth in points. Okay, so he's not relevant. So it's like between like Kyle Busch and Carl Edwards and Casey Kane. That's right, it's between me and the dubstep. Good lord. All right, so this was championship in season three. It was Carl Edwards versus Casey Kane. Basically, good times, good times. And Casey Kane trying to make that outside lane work around Kyle Busch. Matt, Matt Kenseth leading. Always fun when round. I was making a race and Matt Kenseth was in the lead. This is back in 2013 era when Kenseth Amber's was dominating. He had, what, seven, race, seven wins that Mark year. So that's why Kenseth Boyer well. running up front a lot. Bush there. He's still trying to make that outside lane work. 
And now, ooh, Truex is in the wall off Yeah, does, does Tony Stewart wreck in this race? This, this is going to be interesting. Go the middle, and he and place your bets down in the chat Truex. in the comments. As we continue so, nearly five, still 550 here. people watching. You guys are awesome. I, I knew the Double E Cup Series has been around a while. I know it's got a lot of long-time fans and supporters. But now. gosh, it really needs a ton. Oh, yep, Murray, there's Tony. He's wrecked. 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 He's and then Harvick had nowhere to go. I know who was responsible so for this. Tough break for them. It was you. <laughs> they will be out of the race. It was it was Matt, wasn't it? It was, it was this guy. You, you're the one who caused Luckily, me to wreck Tony all those years, huh? Luckily, none of them were championship contenders, so that does not really affect the championship picture too That's much. Probably but here's it. where your championship contenders line up. Look at this terrible graphic Carl showing you where everybody is. I could just like Casey point Kenny it at him. back there in six. All right, so let's restart. See what happens here. Let's Matt do it. Matt Kenseth restarts on lap six now. Do Three custom cars in season nine? Oh boy. That's a lot of work. A lot of money. As up front, it's Clint Boyer trying to clear Matt Kenseth. I made mean, compare this Charlotte though to that Come first ever race I did. This actually looks Carl like Edwards Charlotte. That first one I did did not look like Charlotte. Whoa, Kenseth three wide for the lead. In the Gen six era, what was I thinking? Go back to the inside and look for three wide. We hope duck out of there. Carl Edwards and Clint Boyer now battling for the race lead. Matt Kenseth trying to hold right, Boyer to the lead. And Boyer will take I hope Tony Stewart doesn't take this. I hope Tony Stewart hasn't seen these and wonders if I hate him or something. Running in the fifth position. As up front, Edwards is hanging with Clint Boyer. He's trying Carl to Edwards, championship Lyman. contender, trying to win the title. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that was cool. The front stretch. A little turn, the way he turned underneath him. That looked good. That good. Behind them is still Matt Kenseth looking to the outside. He's Casey Kane lurking outside, back there in fifth. In front of him, Carl Edwards clears Boyer for the lead. Oh, man, this is, I was living in this. I forgot I lived in this Kyle house for like a year. This is very different. Kenseth. Kane now looking at fourth as they come around turn four. And that's trouble on the front stretch. It's Jeff Ooh, Bird there's a spinner. The Jeff Bird. Oh, that's a long spin. And eventually coming to a rest just past spun the across start the entire uh, straightaway almost. About sent him All right, let's one see more here. time here. Carl Edwards leads Casey Kane by nine points. Kane's so back there in Bush fifth. Only 15 points back. Through one and two. Edwards so, looking oh, well, never mind. Restart. Kane's already up to almost third. Third. There you go. will clear Kenseth. For that third position, here he comes. So it was really it was Edwards versus Kane. Inside. This is a good Boyer setup. This is a good loose. setup. Edwards is going to try and pass him on the front stretch. Kane's got a good run as well, and both Edwards and Casey Kane will pass. Clint Were you Boyer the fan the that Tony went after? No, I was not. And now the top That'd two funny, points though. are leading the race. Why'd you wreck me in that like stop motion race? The champion as well. Casey Kane trying to find a way around. All right. Edwards. He has white flag. Oh yeah. This is this is this is textbook drama here. Have the top two championship contenders battle for it down the final lap. Textbook drama. Look at this. Oh look. Oh yeah! Oh, he got loose. He turned him. Oh, he put him in the wall. <laughs> oh, I felt terrible wrecking Edwards like that because I, I like both Casey Kane and Carl Edwards a ton, and I knew I was going to make a lot of fans un unhappy, no matter what ended up happening there. But it had to be done. Look at the replay again. Had to happen. See here, coming on turn two, Edwards gets sideways. So we're three seasons into it, we had Kenseth, Hamlin, and then Kane win championships. As it caused them to get each other. Look at it one more time. Oh, Edwards, that was fun. Yeah, that was a good time. All right, let's fast forward to season four. Let's move ahead to season four now. Daytona. Why is it so quiet? Oh, jeez. Scared me for a second there. The right. I don't know why you so much of this EDM dubstep. I didn't, really, I didn't like this type of music. I guess I just thought YouTube Daytona. was the only place dubstep was acceptable. Daytona. This is season four, race five. This is not the opener of season four. This is later in the season, but I always liked this race. I always thought this one came out pretty good. This is a, around this point is when I finally kind of figured out how to make a decent looking Daytona track. And I say decent very roughly. One thing I always, I don't think I did a good enough job at. I guess in later seasons I did okay, and I think this race I did okay. Um, I didn't do as good of a job of, of taking advantage of the super speedway tracks to let like smaller teams run up front. Like look at everybody running up front right now. It's Denny Hamlin, it's Jimmy Johnson, it's Casey Kane-Brackett. Like, Those guys run up front at every track. I should have taken advantage of this and put like you know McMurray or Ty Dillon or somebody up front. Although you can see the 33, the 13, they're catching up. They're catching up. Denny Hamlin, Matt Kenseth have fallen back. As now it looks like the inside lane's gonna. I always thought I thought the drafting looked okay in this one as well. This race was also iconic for another reason. You'll see at the very end. Oh, oh, goodness, that was a big hit for the 21. Oh, geez. That was some big, big damage. That's Casey Mears in the 13. I know, guys. I know that's Casey Mears in the 13. I was, I, I, was Ty Dillon in the 33? No, I think 33 at this point was Austin Dillon. So, yeah, never mind. Newman right in front. Let's get a restart here. Yeah, 33 is Austin Dillon, not Ty Dillon. That's what I was thinking of. Now Keselowski kind of out there by himself. Casey Mears, though. Mears. He gets blocked by Austin Dillon yeah, Austin as they head across the start-finish line. 
As now it's a three car breakaway up front. Kane's gonna so I guess in this inside. race I did let some of the smaller teams he run up front. So I did pretty help. good. Tony I was doing good. Get them some screen time. Oh, the there goes Jimmy Jam. Now spins across the grass. There goes Jimmy Jam. Lots of cautions here. Let's do a little green white checkered classic Daytona action. There's a couple underdogs at the front of the pack. Will lead us to the green with two to go. Oh, remember when Truex drove that 56 car? One, two, Kane, looking there in third. Look at Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart thinking he might win this race. Now. Casey Mears trying trying to get something going from Tony Stewart. Here comes Matt Kenseth. He moves oh, in that Kenseth's middle lane. Oh, Kenseth's got to run. A big run as they cut across the Ooh, line. Pushed him right out of the he way. The white flag. Rock him, sock him, robot him out of the way. Dylan White flag. Moved into second now as Kenseth has a little bit of a two I think Tony Stewart gets up here and challenges for the win, doesn't he? Oh yeah, there he is, Tony. Oh, he turned him. Oh. Oh, a lot of big names wrecked there. Hey, look on the win. This is what a lot of people took away from this race. I actually destroyed a Jeff Gordon car for this, for the, for the effect. Look, he's missing his whole left rear tire. Big crash here. Oh my goodness. Several drivers, including Edwards, Kozlowski, Kane, Biffle, and Matt Kenseth. Yeah, I wrecked a lot of good drivers in this one. Tony got through it though, right? He hit the wall a little bit. Look, Tony got through it though. He's okay. Tony went on and got like a top five. If Tony isn't in the wreck, he he starts the wreck. That's that's Tony. Ooh, look at that. That's a good shot right there. Ooh, pause it, pause it, pause it. No, go back. I don't want to see Logano bring out. Ooh, pause it. Ooh, that was a good shot right there. That looks good. That looks very realistic. That looks very sharp. Very good indeed. The reason I wrecked Jeff Gordon is because I actually accidentally ordered two of the same Jeff Gordon cars, and when they showed up, I was like. Oh, why do I have two of these? I'm like, I don't need two. I'm not, a, I'm not a Jeff Gordon guy. I could have maybe like, you know, sold one or done a giveaway. But I was like, I didn't think about that at the time. I was like, nope. I'll just take one of these, smash it with a hammer a few times, and use it as a wrecked car. That was basically my thought process on that one. Uh, and I thought it came out pretty good. I'm only gonna show two season four races, so let's, because I feel like season four was kind of forgettable. It was around this time that I almost stopped doing W Cup series. I was kind of getting bored with it and almost just stopped completely. So I'll just skip ahead to the finale of season four, which I thought was, I thought was decent. I thought the season four finale was decent. Wow, look how much fun you can have with Starbucks. Oh, wow. Screw you, Starbucks. All right, let's see. What is a weird song is this? This is the final I race. some weird music, guys, early on. You guys stuck with some weird songs early on season, or early on in Dex history. All right, old me, remind me who's in the points battle for this one. All right, so here we go. To Jimmy John, it was a Jimmy Johnson versus Stewart versus Hamlin, basically, in this one. You know, Kenseth, Gordon Bush, they're all a little too Today, far back. Tony Stewart, though, would need to win that race if that was to happen. And here is your race info. Watch a race for 21. He only won a few races in, in my series. I don't remember if I have any of them on this list, to be quite honest with you. Bush lose up the racetrack there down the back stretch. Kenseth draws even with him for the lead. Bush still slipping back now. Three wide. For Three wide. Right Again, at a mile and a half in the Gen 6 era, that is not Jimmy very realistic. Oh, not Brad. Oh, he's going up in the traffic. Oh, wow. And hits the outside wall. Surprised I didn't wreck more cars there. Lap number three for a non-championship Surprised I did not Oski, wreck them. All right, another restart. Lap five. Now, Ooh, Hill. Jeff Gordon. He's Those going for that championship. So is Jimmy Jam. Kenseth by about a half a car length. As they head into three and four. Gordon gets loose, makes contact with Kenseth. He falls back to six. He's a Kyle Busch car to smack with a hammer. trying to look underneath Jeff Gordon for the race lead. Starbucks sponsors your video and you're just hating on them. Starbucks isn't paying me, they're paying YouTube. And YouTube gives me a small cut. If you do more stop motions, rename with the Mark Evans Cup series. Where's Mark Evans? He's not here tonight. Oh, there goes Stenhouse. Alright, let's, let's see. Johnson still has the point leads right now. He can clinch with the top two finish. Ooh, Johnson still holds the point lead right now. And Denny Hamlin, like I said, is I never wanted to let Jimmy Johnson. I had Jimmy Johnson win some races and stuff. Stages. He was always in contention, but I never wanted to have Jimmy Johnson dominate my series because I feel like this was in 2012, 2013, 2014. You know, I feel like the NASCAR fan base was just getting over Jimmy's five straight titles in real life and then his 2013 title. I was like, Jimmy wins so much in real life. I feel like the stop motion series. It was good to give other guys a shot to win and keep Jimmy close. He was always com he was always uh, competitive. Hendrick top three. Look at Tony Stewart though. Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart looking for fourth. He'll get it. Phil Jr. looking underneath the two leaders. Gordon wants that lead back. He goes to the bottom on Johnson. Now from third. Oh, Jr. in the wall. Whoops. White flag. Oh goodness. The top three are all in the championship battle. No, Tony Stewart. The comeback is real. Tony Stewart's gonna win a race! Ah, oh, and the championship! I forgot, actually. I forgot about this. I forgot that this happens. 
<laughs> there we go. Wow. So Tony, Tony eventually did get a win. Woo! Tony Stewart fans, hopefully that was worth it. Hopefully that was all worth it. Was that worth it? I wasn't really that worth it. Oh look, teammates mad at each other. Tempers flaring, boys. I don't know what. I just literally just filmed them from different camera angles. That really was really it. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the replay. Let's do a little burnout. Yeah, burnout. Yeah, hashtag smoke has risen. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the two inside your radius. I can leave happy now. <laughs> well, bye inside your radius. I appreciate the support tonight. Thank you for stopping by. We still have 500 people watching, y'all. That's amazing. That's incredible. All right. All right, all right, yeah, look, Kyle Petty there, that's incredible. So we are four seasons down. I'm going to call this halftime for a moment. I'm going to run out. i got to go get uh, some water. This is going to be halftime. I'm going to get a quick snack. I'll be back in just a few moments, and we'll continue watching. We're about halfway through this stream, so we're making good time. We're making some good time. So I'll uh, be back in just a moment, everybody. See you guys in just a. I'm back. Still listening to this old season eight intro, this old song. All right. Whew. Okay, we're back in it. Let's finish this up. I want to do a little halftime there because, one, I needed some water. I was really thirsty. I was dying over here. But, two, I've saved one of the best, maybe, for the middle, not for, the, not for last. Kyle Bush rap, y'all are crazy. Lost 100 viewers by doing that halftime, but that's okay. Ugh. My throat was dying. I needed some water. We're going to watch now the most viewed stop motion race. The most viewed anything that I've ever made. Where is it? Why do I not have it saved here? Oh, where'd it go? I have to go find it. Hold on. Oh, crud. I didn't bring it. I didn't put it in the, uh, what's it called? I didn't put it in the, uh, let's see. I didn't put it in the playlist. Let me get the playlist. Oh. Hold on, y'all. Let me pull this thing up. Dex season. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know exactly what race I'm talking about. The most viewed NASCAR stop motion race on my channel. Then between them, this one right here. Good. I want to make sure I have it pulled up. I had a bunch, most of my stuff prepared. Didn't have this one prepared. Season 5, Race 2, Texas, 7.6 million views. You guys kidding me? Ugh, I'm enjoying this. Alright, let's watch this thing. <sighs> Welcome to the Double E Cup Series Season 5. We're at Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas for race number two of this still young season. Listen to how much better my commentary got. 27 of NASCAR's best set or set their sights on this mile and a half high banked, high speed quad oval racetrack. And they Sonic was more popular, yes, but it's not NASCAR. Will it be a rookie like 
Kyle Larson or Austin Dillon like it was in the first race, or will it be a veteran who takes the win today? Well, let's find out. Let's look at our starting lineup. On the pole is Joey Logano. Let's do field will begin their pace so this is Texas Motor Speedway. Road. Here's your race info. It's 10 laps, 27 cars. Ugh. It's a mile and a half, high banked, high speed. Quad oval, like looked... I said. And here we the go. Supposed Green to. flag is in the air now for Joey Logano as we are underway in race two. They ought to head on it, off into turn one and two. Coming off, looks like Jimmy Johnson will take second. You're probably right. Probably going to wreck Tony again. the lead for, from Joey Logano. As All right. For turn four, Logano slips up the racetrack a little bit. And Jimmy Johnson will lead lap one. Jeff Gordon now trying to take second place away from Logano banking. as they head off the back stretch. Logano gets that good drive off. The banking, banking is pretty fun. The Ooh, banking was pretty awesome. A little nudge there from Jeff Gordon. And those Logano cars, a, nice a lot of people ask me all the time, how did you get those cars to stay on the banking? Four. Oh, there's a wreck. Hey, Tony was involved. Looks like Eric Thank goodness. Is involved as well as both cars hit the outside wall hard. A lot of people ask me how I, uh, how I got the cars to stick on the banking. A lot of times they just stick on their own. A lot of times they would just stick... Uh, Without any issue. Other times they would not. Other times they'd start sliding around. Some of the cars, I noticed, I remember thinking, the, oh, there was the big wreck. Is Tony Stewart in? Oh, he is. Tony, no. Of course I wrecked Tony. What, what, what was I thinking? Yeah, you'll notice on some of these cars, look for them. Look for the little blue balls of sticky tack. Do you have any of them there? I don't see them in that shot. I thought I think a couple of them snuck into a couple of these angles. Oh, I don't see any. You'll see him at the end of this video. I know that. You'll definitely see him at the end. There's Tony getting wrecked again. So look at that replay. You'll see him on the replay. But I use this little, little sticky tack, little blue little doodads to help stick the cars in the groove sometimes. Yeah, you saw a little bit. of. You can see one under the 18 a little bit. You saw one. Oh, you can see right there next to the Brad Keselowski. I'm pointing right there. You can see that right there. That's one of them. One more time in super slow-mo. Yeah. No matter what their stories were, you could tell the 18 came up across the nose. Yeah, of the big wreck. That was a fun one. Anyway, ooh, a little shot of in the garage area. Classic. Involved in crash. Everybody. Lightning McQueen is is the pace car. Oh, this track looks about as empty as the real Texas Motor Speedway these days. I'm kidding. I love Texas. But it's empty a lot. Start from the third spot. He falls back to fifth. Matt Kenseth takes third. Biffle moves to fourth. As up front, the Hendrick teammates Jeff Gordon giving a good battle. Look at that. Johnson drives I like that old 48 car. I didn't really love the pinstripe on the 48, but I really did like the uh, I like the inverted colors here, the white with the blue stripes. Jeff Gordon leads. Jimmy Johnson is second. Matt Kenseth third with Greg Biffle in the fourth. As they head out on the backstretch. Backstretch. I put stars on the backstretch. I basically just on the billboards. I just put video games I liked. That was mainly what I put on the billboards. Another little lazy spin. I had to put some lazy spins in there, mixed in with the big rack, just so it was a nice balance. All right, final restart. I never knew why this was such a popular video. Why this was such a Highly viewed ready for a green -white race. I think it was the bank track because I feel like oh, the rest of this. Maybe it was the big wreck. I don't know. I feel like the rest of this wasn't as noteworthy. Wearing a Texas Motor Speedway hat, I just noticed. That's cool. Cool. Perfect. I like that 16 car. That was a nice paint scheme too. You saw the blue sticky tack. Do you see the blue sticky tack? They'd sneak into some of the shots. I sometimes forget to. Yeah, you can see him a little bit there. Side by side on the back stretch. Look at this. Biffle tries to dive bomb. Oh, Biffle, you mad man! Makes it three wide. No. And three and four. Matt no. Kenseth on the outside. Here comes nope. Jimmy Johnson, but it won't be enough. Matt Kenseth wins. Why is it that though my speed. highest viewed stop motion NASCAR stop motion Matt Kenseth is the winner that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying I don't think very many people saw this and was like oh yeah I love Matt Kenseth let's share this with all the Matt Kenseth fans in the world all 20 of them Greg Biffle they had Matt Kenseth in between. I don't think Kenseth that's what happened here. I think I don't know why, why this one got so it's big. Because it's not even like Texas Motor Speedway is a cool track. I mean, this I guess this track came out pretty cool. Kenseth, but, it wasn't quite but yeah, Matt Kenseth was able to beat him both the line. that video, a lot of views. Always very proud of it. Hold on, I got to go back to my. Uh, Congratulations to Austin McLean and Matt Kenseth. <laughs> Bye. Uh, hold on, I got to go find. I got to get back to my playlist. I had to search that one up separately because I forgot. Where were we at here? Where were we at? Let's see. We were at season. Five. Let's go back to Watkins Glen. We haven't been to Watkins Glen in a hot minute, so let's go check out uh, what Watkins Glen looks like. You guys remember that Watkins Glen from season one? Now let's look at Watkins Glen from season five. How about that? We are at the look famous at Watkins Glen International Race. Ooh, I, I didn't put any of the cars on the straightaway because I was afraid of that. Eric, will you ever do another Fortnite stream? Probably season. not. I don't really play Fortnite in a while. We expect an exciting race today. I see an Incredibles hat. Oh, behind me, back there. Yeah, there's one up as on the shelf. We have just as yeah, sweet deal. All right, let's 
Oh, I like this. I like for the starting lineups. That's kind of fun. Let's watch the actual race, though. Let's get to the race. Let's see if this one looks better than that first one I did. Probably does. Yeah, I think this one looks a little better. I had to make some repairs to the track because it had been sitting in, like, a garage for a while in between years, in between seasons. I should have... I don't know why for the bus stop I didn't put the runoff area. I should have left the runoff area. I don't know why I didn't do that. Now here comes Denny Hamlin looking... To the outside of Dale How's everybody doing down there? Everybody having fun? More than halfway through the, these videos now. We're working down this list pretty well. We're, we're yeah, we're about almost two-thirds of the way through the list tonight. I'm hoping we can get this thing done in the next hour. Season 5 is the best, best season of decks. Okay, NASCAR Racing Fan 2016. I want everybody else to know, I want to ask everybody else in the chat, what was y'all's favorite season of the W Cup Series? For me, it's probably between 5 or 7. I like 7 a lot. I was really proud of 7. I also like 3. Ooh, the big hit. That was tough. That was a big hit right Right there for uh, Kane and Kenseth and everybody. Oh, and Stewart and Stewart wrecked. Of course, I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice Stewart was wrecking. And there he is. He's he's totaled. Oh, gosh. Five nine. Yeah, season nine. The fabled season nine. A lot of people said seven. Okay, a lot of people did like seven. I, yeah, I thought seven came together really well. I, I was proud of seven, but I also I basically like all the odd number ones. Three five seven. Let's do a re another restart here. Eight. Eight was pretty good. Eight was not bad. Anybody like the Tournament of Champions? No, I feel like a lot of people... I did that mainly because I knew I couldn't do a full season. I could only do a few races, so I did the Tournament of Champions. I get, not, very few people I've heard say that, have said that they really liked or that that was their favorite. <laughs> Danica Patrick running sixth in this race. Oh, look at Dale Jr. Oh, Jr. Oh, no, no. Oh, and then Danica gets wrecked right as I say that. No. Oh. Look, you can see some of that sticky tack again. I don't remember why I had it at this track, but you can see some of it. A little blue, little blue dots. I like this uh, Kelly Blue Book scheme, though. I guess it looks similar to Chase Elliott. Well, it doesn't look that similar to Chase Elliott's now, but I do like this one. Yeah, why does he have the sticky tack? Was this track? This track wasn't really that banked, but it did sometimes get Warped. Did sometimes get warped. All right, let's do final restart. Oh, around goes Keselowski. No caution though, right? No caution. All right, cool, cool. Ambrose. I always had Ambrose up at the front when I did these. Oh, this looks that looked good. I forgot how good that looked. Yeah. Thank you, Flying Gator, for the super chat. What are your thoughts on chili? It's pretty good. It's tasty. Not bad. Is that a, is that a is that a reference to that uh, rain delayed stop motion video I did way back when? I think that's a I think that's a reference there. Now looking for third underneath his teammate Denny Hamlin. So they head down the back stretch now. Oh yeah, I used to have a website. I don't think I still do. I don't know if I still do. Do I still have deckracing.com? I'm going to look that up as this race ends. McMurray looking to the inside of Ambrose. As I wonder if I renewed that. McMurray's got the preferred line. He's going to take the lead. All right, white flag Kyle Busch in there. Look at Jamie McMurray. Look at little Jamie baby. Does McMurray win this race? I don't think he does. 18 and 1. Here they come down the back. McMurray puts the block on Bush. He gives him a nudge. Come on, McMurray. McMurray. I don't think McMurray wins, Kyle but come Bush on, Jamie. Outside. No. Yeah, oh, turn him, Jamie. Wreck him. Kill him. Turns. Murder him. No, get him, Jamie. Get him, Jamie. Oh, it's a drag race. Oh. I'm actually rooting for Jamie McMurray. I don't even remember who won that race. That's kind of lame that I made Kyle win. Ugh. Thank you for the five bucks, Nolan Racing. I appreciate the support tonight. I feel bad for the people who, who signed up for Stuart. Yeah, it wasn't on purpose, I swear. The first season, it was kind of on purpose, but no, no, none of the other seasons, it was, it was on purpose. All right, let's move on. Another Talladega race. This is one of my favorite Talladega races to the, that I remember. Oh, there's a wolf. That's not a part of the Talladega race. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. I love this. People in the chat are booing Kyle Busch years later. That's so fun. We're at Talladega Super Speedway. Oh, I really do still have Dex, uh, Dex uh, Racing dot com. That's fun. It's mostly just a bunch of old videos. It hasn't been updated in quite a while. Probably should could delete that. Oh, look at that old trip. That's not old. I guess they still have that Triple A scheme. I like that one. There's some good ones. There's some good ones in here. Current points tanks. We don't care. Green flag. Oh, look. I had the off. I had the alternate for Hamlin. The green FedEx freight or whatever that is. No FedEx. FedEx office. What's the green one? FedEx ground. I think it's FedEx ground. I don't know. Oh, those are some good video games back there. Did you see those? There's Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Mod Nation Racers. Those are some good video games back there. He's got a little bit of a push from Menard. He's gonna Those are some good ones back there. Try to take the lead as we begin the second lap. <clears throat> Denny Hamlin still leading that inside line. With yeah. Another Toyota. Harvick and the old Budweiser scheme. That honestly is kind of weird to see. I'm not going to lie. Johnson. 
And now yeah, everyone's saying it looks like Pocono. It's not Pocono, I, just, I swear. Even though they do look almost the same the way I made them. Three laps. This is a big track. These po these Daytonas and Poconos and Talladegas, I had to build them on a ping pong table. They're huge. They took up an entire ping pong table. Man, remember Nationwide used to be on uh, Ricky Stenhouse's car? Remember that? Oh, oh, oh the big crash. Did Stewart get through it? Where's Stewart? Oh, yeah, Tony got through it. Good job, Tony. <laughs> Good job, Tony. All right. I, I'm, now I'm, I'm rooting. I find myself rooting for Tony Stewart. Now, there he is. Oh, really out of focus. Good job, me. Oh, I like that old Kansas paint scheme, too. I miss that scheme. I miss Home Depot. The light's flickering like crazy because I couldn't get the white balance to stay the same. I think I was running an automatic white balance, so it would change every single second. Oh, Kenseth gets screwed there. That's okay. Hey, Tony's up to fourth. Go, Tony, go. I don't think Tony wins this race. I don't remember exactly, but I don't think Tony wins it. But hopefully he, runs he doesn't wreck. I'm just hoping I don't wreck Tony. Tony, move up there and block. Block. Oh, you missed your chance to block, Tony. That's kind of a good camera angle right there. Carl Edwards, that subway car looks nice. Oh, I remember this wreck. Oh, Tony, get through it, Tony. Yeah, he got through it. Oh, that was a big wreck. I modeled this wreck after uh, the 2014... Um, Clint Boyer, Jeff Coke Zero Four Hundred, where they all wrecked going into turn Kyle three, and Kyle Larson, Busch flipped over. Just in this Kyle case, it was a. Over. You got Ryan Newman and Casey. Oh, was it Kyle Busch flipped over again? Yeah, Kyle Busch flipped over here too. Like I was modeling it after that wreck. Got into Boyer, and you saw Bush flip over. So it was a. Uh, that was that was fun. Wow, thank you, Grayson Rushing. Thank you for the five bucks. You are a lit dude. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. That's funny. That's funny. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that, Grayson Rushing. Stuff. Almost 500 people watched tonight. You guys are amazing. Hopefully, you all had a great week. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Just past halfway here. Greg Biffle. I still like that. I missed that old 16 car. That's a good looking car. Oh, oh, I missed this part. I forgot about this part. The breaking of the fourth wall right here. There's all that debris on the track. <laughs> oh, yeah, thumbs up, though. That's all good. We're gonna get set to wow, go that was a quick, quick, uh, quick uh, cleanup right there. <laughs> oh, that's so freaky. Wow, oh, thank you. Great. Ten bucks from RMWX. RM Wix. I don't know how to say the name, but thank you. Smoking is smoking tires. Hashtag pray for smoke. But Tony Stewart, he did win that season four championship, but he just took the lead right here. Look at him, he's in the lead. He's in the lead. So Tony Stewart's had his moments, but yeah, he got wrecked a lot. <laughs> oh, Almarola. Eric Almarola. Almarola leads as they take the white flag. White flag. I can't remember. I think Almarola or Kane wins this race, by. but I don't know which. Kane and Almarola Block America. Oh, he didn't. Behind them. That's okay. Kane That's okay. It's going to be a drag Edwards race. To the middle. Edwards to the middle. Oh, Edwards gets, gets dumped. By Junior. Up front, Stewart, stay green get through it, Tony. Ah! Oh, I thought Tony was going to win for a second there. All right, so Casey Kane did win. I knew it was a blue car. I couldn't remember which one, though. As Edwards spun on the last lap, a lot of crazy jostling. Good, good times. I didn't I didn't think this was going to turn to the Tony Stewart meme stream. But uh, I guess it. I guess it did. You see Stuart here on the replay. All right. Make it three wide. Uh, Almirola just a little loose. Almirola gets into the back of Kane. But Kane was able to hold on to it. That was a good race. That was a fun one. All right, let's move on. Season five finale at Homestead. We're almost done with season five. Here we go. Ooh, look at this. Look at this shot. Kyle Busch, the points leader. Carl Edwards is there, Harvick's there, a bunch of other people are there, Kenseth is there, Junior's there. That's right, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is in this one. And then for this season, I did the blue, the things on their windows, on their windshield. I did the little blue stripe, but I just it doesn't look very good. So the eight drivers who are still in championship contention at this point, I put the blue stuff on their faces. Why did you stop Dex? Well, it's, it mainly stopped consistently when I went to college. When I started college, I was living in a dorm room with a complete stranger, and I literally did not have the space to set up these tracks like the room was the square footage in the room with the beds and the desks and everything it was literally not enough space to do it so that's when i started doing out of the groove because i wanted to keep doing nascar content but i just didn't know what i could do from where i was uh, and then every time i've been like home for the summer and whatnot i've tried to do some stop motion Ooh, two championship contenders wreck right there i tried to do some you know i would always try to do some stop motions uh, but it was hard for me to ever commit to like a full season because that's 8 10 12 that's a lot of races and each one takes you know a week to make and it was just it was a lot it was a lot to do and i just kind of couldn't keep doing it anymore so eventually i had to uh 
I don't know. I had to kind of change the, the what, what the content on this channel was. Um, but yeah, drop out of college for Dex. I like that comment. Thank you, Isaac Dennison. Thank, thank you. Also on my Patreon supporters. Thank you for the five bucks, my friend. Can't think of a better way to end my first day as a teacher. First day as a teacher. That's awesome, man. That's super fun. What grade do you teach? You don't have to tell us. But what, what grade? What grade are you teaching? That's cool. That's really awesome, man. Well, congratulations. Hopefully, uh, hopefully every day just gets better and better. Continuing to slip back just a little bit. Oh, that's a cool camera with all the, the depth of field and everything. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, the roommate, my roommate would have definitely been confused if I whipped out a bunch of toy cars and started uh, making racetracks. Tony, get through it. Where's Tony? Oh, he got through it. Good. We're good. Look at Brian Vickers. Who remembers Brian Vickers? Brian Vickers in the uh, in the in the Aaron's Dream Machine. Poor McMurray couldn't catch a break either. That's a shame. So uh, we'll restart again now for on lap You should watch nine, NASCAR parodies in another stream. Kyle that will be there will be a lot of Jimmy cringing Johnson's in that one. There's been some cringing here in this, but not so not as bad as that would be. Look at the names got smudged. As I was recording, the names on their little uh, panels there got smudged, and I was like, this is stupid. This is a bad. Wait, you can't even read that anymore. Kenseth. I don't. What does that even say? I don't even know. I don't even say. I don't even know. As we'll line up. For a green, white, checkered in the finale. All righty, green, green, green. green. For Kyle, but she gets a good run on that outside. All right, got three championship contenders at the front here. Gordon three wide. Look at Junior. Look at little Junior. Look at June Bug. Oh, he's, he's going to the bottom. Bush. That, that the National Guard car is my favorite. Oh, that's a big wreck. Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano. Oh, that's bad. And another caution is out I teach here. middle school band and choir. That is awesome. Wow. Oh, she's not just a teacher. You got like, oh, that's that's a that's a cool gig. I did middle school band. I played the clarinet. That was decent for middle. School Both. clarinet player, I was decent. I was pretty good. I was one of the. I was, I, was, I was never first chair. What was I? I was like third or fourth chair. But we had like ten clarinetists, so I was above average. I was above average. Above average. We had a big band. Uh, so that's awesome, man. That's great. All right, only five championship contenders left for the restart. Kyle Busch versus Dale Jr. Let's see, boys. Let's see if Dale Jr. can uh, prevail this time. Let's try a second green white checkered. We get up to three. Let's see if this one goes any better. Green flag is back in the air. Two to go. Hendrick on the bottom. Gibbs on the outside. Ooh. Jeff Gordon now going to oh. try and make it. Oh, three they're three by three. Johnson on the inside. Johnson I on the inside. Of Bush. This they make contact. Bush is in the wall. Or Newman. Gordon Who is that? Is that Burton or Newman? I guess it's Newman. Final lap now at Homestead. Oh my gosh. Junior's going to look for the lead. Junior trying Junior to be his teammate. To win this race slide to win job, the slide job. Kyle Bush and Matt Kenseth need to keep him from it. Here comes Newman on the Newman, bottom. Newman, Newman, sideways, more contact back in the pack, but nobody's going to catch Dale Earnhardt Newman. Jr. He wins the E Cup Newman. Series Season 5 Championship. Of course, Ryan Newman and would get in there and mess with the championship battle. I knew what I was doing back then. I knew who I was uh, dealing with. I knew how to make everyone uh, do what they're supposed to do. To to the that was a good finish. I forgot about that race. That race kind of just is like a blur. I don't really remember it. That was a good That was a good time. Good one. Good, nice. Fun times. Fun, fun, fun. But in the end, nobody could catch Dale Earnhardt Jr. Eric Ty Gibbs said on Instagram he would like to be a guest on the NASCAR Weekly Podcast. Ty Gibbs? Oh, we'll get Ty Gibbs on here. Ty Gibbs would be fun. Now, <sighs> for a limited time only. Ty Gibbs, he's racing a K and N. Wasn't he in the K and N race this week or today or whatever? I didn't watch it. I didn't watch this one, unfortunately. But all right, let's move on. We're on Welcome season six now, Devil everybody. We made it to season six, and I skipped a bunch of races here because season six I also think was kind of forgettable. There's some good moments in it, but now this is season six, race seven, Auto Club. People for years were asking me to do Auto Club, and I just didn't have the pieces. But then I basically just copied, I reused that piece I used for Michigan, that big piece, and I just decided to copy that and add some blue walls and make it Auto Club. So that was this was the first and only race I ever did at Auto Club Speedway, and I loved it because I could do the wide restarts again. This is what year is this? Twenty fifteen? Then yeah, I made this in twenty fifteen summer about. You know, this is about four years ago to the day is when this one came out. He'll try to make up for his poor restart. He moves into second, gets a good run on Harvard. Edwards pulls out ahead to a little bit of a lead. But Look at Carl Edwards in that 19 car. That was a nice ride. That was a good one. That was a great ride. Look at Jimmy in the 48. Look at all these paint schemes, man. I said earlier that 2013 had great paint schemes. 2015 had some pretty good paint schemes as well. Look at these. Oh, some good ones. That Bush's Beans car. Oh, some good, good paint schemes, guys. Look at Edwards. He's just driving off and leaving them behind. They can't They can't hang with them. They can't do nothing. Oh, look at this onboard camera. Yeah, onboard, baby. Through him right now. Yeah, YouTube doesn't seem to know that I know that I'm live. Oh, Kenseth, no, Matt, no, no, Tony, get through it. Okay, good, Tony at least got through it. And on towards the middle of the pack here. This is a good, this is a good race. Yeah, this is one of your favorite ones, Al. Yeah, this is this was a fun one. I like this one as well. This one, I like the finish in this one. I won't spoil it, but I like the finish. And I love the wide track. It's so fun. I should go. Oh, hold on, pause, pause. I'll be right back, y'all. I'll be. Right, I want to go. I'm gonna go get the. Uh, 
the 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 actual piece. I'll be right back. One second, just like eight seconds. Give me ten, nine seconds. Okay, I'm back. Hold on, I'll turn the camera back on. I'll turn the I'll turn the freaking camera back on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let me blow this up for a second so you guys can see. Okay, look. Look at this piece. Whoa. How tall is it? Is it? Oh my gosh, it almost is as tall as me. Let me back up. Holy. Oh my god. I'm six foot seven. So this thing has to be at least six two or six three. Oh my gosh. Just the big D. The biggest of all the big D's. <laughs> Woohoo! I can like dance with it. Look, it's orange on the other side. Nobody knew that, huh? Didn't know it was orange on the other side, did you? That's fun. All right. Okay. <sighs> anyway, I thought I'd bring that in there. You know, those of you who've been watching for a long time, you deserve a behind the scenes look. Behind the scenes. All right, let me just like prop this up somewhere. Let me just. There we go. The big D! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, let's 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 get back to watching this uh let's get back to watching this here race. Okay, how about how about that? How's that sound? Alright. Edward's still leading. Edward's still leading. Oh, but now we're four, four wide, wide for the lead. Oh my gosh. Up the middle, but Joey Logano gets a big run on the inside. He'll clear everyone All right. for the race lead. Clint Boyer moves back into the second spot. I like how it's just Edward's back there now. The Michigan slash auto club D. He's stuck in the fourth position. Battle is for mm. fifth. That's Did you see that? Mm. Sorry, so I was trying to swallow. Did you guys see that? That's an important detail you almost missed there. Did you see that? Watch. Look at him. Trying to break the draft on the straightaway. You see that? That that was. That's the kind of level of detail, the attention to detail we had here. Oh, Trevor Bay. Oh, and then Tony's involved. Son of a. Tony Stewart. I just. I wrecked Tony Stewart so much. Crash here. Trevor Bain went hard head first into the wall. Oh, that's. That's. That's a shame. At least that was a cool looking wreck. A big wreck, but it was a cool looking wreck. Oh, whoops. Poor restart. He's struggling on the oh, these inside. restarts, Four man, are crazy. This looks like the 2019 Aero package. Moves. He's trying to get back up to the top five. Is up front. Carl Edwards looking to the inside of Joey Logano. Now Edwards looks to the outside. Edwards just looking. Oh, and they're in the wall. Oh, no. They're in the wall. Oh, no. They're in the wall. Oh, no. They're in the wall. Oh, that's right. Harvick. Kevin Harvick shoots the closer. Oh, but he's got to hold off Kurt Busch. Now it's up to a couple of Stuart Haas racing teammates. Kurt Busch. Get him, Kurt. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, I couldn't get it to stick. To the checkered, who's gonna win it? It looks like Kevin Harvick's gonna win it by That was a good nose. finish. I like that race. I forgot how good that one was. That one was solid. All right, now another thing my series was and known a big for. Turn of events here on the another thing my series was kind of known for was uh was uh doing some fantasy tracks, like like fake tracks that I just made up because I was running out of ideas. And so one I made that I was kind of happy with was I grew up in Houston, so I did the uh, Houston. I did made up a total makeup made up course. I didn't wasn't based off of anything. This I did a Houston. Uh, a Houston street course or road course is what this one is. So I just made up my own road course and that was this one. There it is. So uh, Specifically for the WE Cup Series. Yeah, let's and watch. We have that, this is a fun race as well. This race had some gimmicks in it as well that people are really right remember. Race info, you just saw I just made this up. It's not a real logo, not a real track. Just completely made it up. It was kind of fun. Here in Houston. This is Jimmy season Johnson, six, race eight. Mentioned, would like a good run today. He's fifth Still 450 people watching, y'all. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I hope you guys are having fun. Now, Austin Dillon has moved into second. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. the one that position. He gives him a little nudge. And now Ricky Jimmy Stenhouse in the lead. Stenhouse in that old fast and all looking he car. The old Cheerios place. car on Dylan a Dillon. Third. Kyle Bush and Kurt Bush. Look at Chase Elliott running his Xfinity, his nationwide series car. Really aggressive early on. He looks That's nice. Stenhouse just passed Jimmy Johnson. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy ain't having none of that, though. Jimmy ain't letting Stenhouse pass him. That's for sure. Even even in 2015 or whatever year this was. Stenhouse lost a lot of momentum. Now Kurt Bush is going to even look Look at all those old cars I had on the infield. Those are a lot of old looking cars. Look at all the old Kenseth cars I had. Oh, that's nice. Nice camera angle. I like that one. Now, I like that one. Oh, that was weird back. looking. So they all head on into turn one. Oh, and now oh Menard! Oh, oh! They, they broke, broke the Patrick track! Crash into the turn one wall. They it broke like they the track. They a chunk of it off as well as our first That's caution. That's fun. That's good times. I thought they were making good progress with that wall. Little Fixing the wall. Such. Just destroy the safer barrier. Go under the yellow flag. Good times. So they just done fixed it with some scotch wall. tape and super glue. That's all they did. Menard, Biffle, and Danica are out of the race. But everyone else is still in it. Green flag is in the air. Good restart here for Kurt Bush as they fan out. Ooh, like, I like this camera too. I was trying to do like a helicopter. Kurt Ooh, did you see Logano go off the track for a second Johnson. there? He goes from third to first. Kurt Bush in the lead. I like that 41 paint scheme. That's a good looking scheme. 
Jimmy Johnson, though, wants it right back. He's all over the back bumper of the 41. Tony is but not in it. Kyle Bush, Kurt oh, he wasn't in the wreck. I was about to say, he's in the race. And Tony's Bush, in here somewhere. He's not in the, he wasn't in that wreck. There's Tony. I see him back there. Mid would back. Love a good run today, especially the two front runners, as they are just outside that top four. Yes, got some three Looking pretty big names up front, but you got Almondinger lurking, because Almondinger, I knew he was a good road course racer, so I figured I'd have Almondinger have a good race. Austin Dillon. Oh, and the Bush brothers wreck. I forgot about that drama. That was some good drama. And Kyle Bush have collided. Now we got trouble. Oh, the wreck and everyone. Stuart get through it. Yeah, yeah, good job. Oh, Jeff but not Gordon not Gordon. At the last second. And not the caution Gordon. will now wave as heavy impact. Tough Brad break there. A lot of wrecking. Look at the Bush brothers spin, racing for the lead. Because you know, in real NASCAR, the Kyle and Kurt Bush really haven't had that many on track like rivalries. I mean, when they've had that close finish a couple weeks ago at Kentucky, that was like the first real moment. In a long time that I really felt like the two Bush brothers really got into it or really was like it was between the two of them, you know. So I wanted to have some drama in the decks. But here comes Austin Dillon on the outside. AJ's into third. Look at Almondinger in third. Chase Elliott in fourth. For that race lead. Johnson Jimmy, the, the, the veteran, now. trying to hold them all off. He and the three car battle into Ooh. the final two turns of the racetrack. Coming to the white flag right, right flag. here. Oh, Jimmy gets, gets loose. loose. Gets into the three just Ooh, a little bit. Boy. Austin Dillon's going to be able to clear him, though. Almondinger moves into the second spot. As Jimmy Johnson has led the most laps today, he falls back. I don't really like any of these paint schemes up here, though. The Cheerios ones is, is okay. The Bush one is okay. The, the Jimmy's car is okay. I like Jimmy's. I just wish they had yellow numbers. Well, it's Almondinger versus Austin Dillon. I don't think anyone expected that. Austin Dillon, though, is going to save it and hold on. Ooh, and this is the gimmick here. Notice a bunch of the cars change as they cross the line. You guys see that? Austin Doing a bunch of like throwback stuff there. I was trying to do like a throwback. See some of those? So good. Look at that. Look at that old 17, old uh, 20 car, the old Home Depot Dillon. 20. Austin Dillon, though, is going to save it and hold on to win race number eight. Austin Dillon gets his first win of the season. And that's a big one to help salvage cool what's been there. a I like that logo I made, even though it was kind of... Rough did I slow? Did I team. slow mode? Oh no, but I didn't. A really okay. strong run today. Well, that's all right. Let's move on. Let's do a uh, season six race ten, the finale. Let's do Texas Motor Speedway. This is the finale. Let's skip this ad. All right. So we. This is why I did it like a championship four. I think. Did I do it like that in this case? Yes. I know. I'm live now. 480 people are watching. Welcome me live to the right W Cup Series. Their chance to win this championship here in September. As we'll meet those four championship contenders. Now, another the up and down little seat. brief anyone else. history of the lore of, of decks. Uh, this one, I also expect anticipate this one being the last stop motion. So, I, I did four yeah, seasons, and I kind of intended on kind of stopping after season four. Uh, and then I didn't. I decided to keep going. I did season five and then season six. And then after season six, I was like, okay, I really am done now. Season six is it. I'm done. So, that's why I had this this backdrop. Thanks for six great seasons, because I was kind of like, it's, it's kind of probably over. I'm probably not going to keep doing it. Uh, obviously, I was a liar again. I eventually got to the point where I wanted to keep doing it. So we did another Texas Motor Speedway. Oh, whoops. Green flag. Let's watch this. Where did you get your die cast? I got them from a lot of places. NASCAR.com. I get some of them in person when I go to the racetracks. Lionel Racing. You know, some of the other ones like Plan B Sales, K-State die cast. Some other. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Sometimes I get them from the race teams themselves. Like I'd go to like Stuart Haas Racing Shop or Joe Gibbs Shop, and they'd sometimes have them pretty. Uh, pretty early, but it was always hard to find them uh, early enough. Ooh, look at that frame rate. Ooh, oh, that camera. Oh, let's go back rewind that camera angle. Loose slides up. That's gonna open the Oh, door. look at that. They rock it down the back the camera away. angle looks good. The that was a good camera angle. I forgot about that one. Uh, do you still have that Texas track? Yeah, it's in the other room. It's kind of beat up. I could go get it, but it's really heavy and it's probably buried under a bunch of stuff. Gordon trying to pull away from Larson. Larson we got the big D. That's Joey all we Kyle need. Making some more progress. He looks for third underneath Almarola. Now Kyle Larson. Do you think you'll have a future with NASCAR? Oh, Gordon's Ooh, Gordon spins. Gordon, Gordon, it. Gordon saves it. Coming Working for four, NASCAR? I have no idea. I don't know about that. It'd be cool, perhaps, place, but I have no idea. A good job of keeping his car from being tore up. Jeff Gordon's in a tough spot. Look at it. Oh, and he turns Brad. Oh, big crash. Oh, it's they're still wrecking. Tony's in it. No. That was like a good wreck. It kind of took a long time to develop. Put a lot of time into that wreck. Out on lap that, was a, that was a fun one. That was a, that was a tricky one. A five car wreck here on the see that? Hold on. Two. Throwback, Started though. You right see that scribble on, on the wall right four. there? This scribble? 
That's left over from the season five race that with that big crash and everything. That's left over from that. And I was stupid and realized I couldn't take it off the track. I guess I could have painted over it, but that was a lot of work. So I just left it there. I just left that little squiggle. Those squiggles are left over from uh, old Rex. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't even notice that until just now. All right. So who is it again? It was Logano, Kenseth Jr., and Gordon were the ones battling for the championship. So yeah, they're all right there in the top six or so. Kyle Larson, it Larson. The party. Larson you mad man. Matt Nobody Kenseth beats Matt Kenseth. Right Not his own game. Is third. Dale Jr. Eric, what are your thoughts on potatoes? They're pretty good. I like them fried. You know, French fries. Hash browns. Those are good. Right on the back bumper of That's a good camera angle, too. Oh, oh, like Logano kind of squoze Dale Jr. there. I like that old nationwide card, too. This is good classic. Ooh, three wide through, through, through the middle. Look at Jr. Go. To take the third spot. Dale oh, Jr. and we got a crash! A oh! As a couple cars yeah, we always have wrecks. Pretty much every race Dave has Ray like two or three wrecks. Wall. You know, that's just kind of what's my consistent thing. Texas! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, well, thank you, Dylan. That's kind of you to say. NASCAR bus, Tony Stewart Dex. Yeah, kind of. <sighs> I'm a film major in school. I'm, I'm doing film stuff. Did you watch the first ever stop motion race? I did watch the, yeah, at the very beginning of the stream, we watched the first NASCAR stop motion I ever did. Green flag is back in the yeah, air. Yeah, good old Two KFC go. scheme. That was, that was a good throwback. On the outside. Here comes Joey Logano. Okay, Kenza trying to win his second Dex championship. Oh, this camera right here. I use that in a lot of we videos, a lot of clips, highlight reels. Oh, oh, he gets turned. He gets out of the groove. That was, I thought I was proud of the way that came out. That was tough because on, on the banking, they were all wanting to slide into each other. It was really hard to keep them close like that without having them wreck into each other and slide off the banking. Matt Kenseth lurks in third. Half a lap to go. Junior Coming to the checkered. Oh, and Junior also corner. trying to get his second Dex championship. Logano slides up a little bit. Turn four to the line. Oh, Who's going to win it? Joey Logano wins the W Cup Logano. Season 6 championship. Now, funny story. If I look at the date on this, it was September. I did this. Oh, wait, scroll up. I did this in September. Joey in 2015, win of the year about a, this is right before the Kenseth versus Logano drama the happened in the real NASCAR. And I remember jokingly thinking after after all the Kenseth Logano drama in real NASCAR, I was like, Dang, I shouldn't have let Logano win the championship in Dex. I should have should have stopped that from happening. But at the time, I still really like Logano, and I still like Logano. But for a couple weeks there, I did not like Logano. So this is before that. All right, let's skip ahead now to season seven. We're getting pretty close to the end here. We've been going for quite a long time. Thank you guys. Those of you who've been watching this whole time, you guys are awesome you guys are the real mvps let's move on to season seven we're gonna skip up to race five this is bristol we haven't watched a bristol race tonight yet so let's watch a bristol race let's do let's do that skip ad oh yeah see i used it in this intro i don't remember what the name of this song was it's was some generic rock song that youtube had available seven down track all right season seven. Oh, that's right I forgot I did that for season Starts seven. Your engines. I had people. Th that's right. Throwback. I had fans uh, submit videos of them saying start your engines, and I each race I selected one randomly and had them feature in the video. So that's cool. Shout out to Kart Racer 56 if you're still watching. <laughs> yeah, this was this was new Bristol too, so it had an outside lane. The outside lane worked as well as the bottom. Are you going to be at the Texas race in November? Probably not this year, no. I don't think I will be. I'll be at Bristol later this month, though. So if any of you guys are going to go into Bristol, keep an eye on your Twitter feeds or YouTube feeds because we're going to be, I'm going to be announcing an actual meetup time and place shortly. So keep an eye on that. Look at that. I missed that old Hamlin scheme. That's one of my favorite Denny Hamlin paint schemes right there. That's a good one. See yeah, I, I, I experimented with the little ticker at the top, but I really didn't put that much work into it, so I, I kind of scrapped it after season seven. I wasn't, I, I just, I don't know, I didn't have the energy to keep doing it every race. How did you come up to make, uh, come up with the idea to make track pieces like that? Uh, it was kind of both me and my dad's idea. We were both kind of like, what if there was a way to like quickly assemble like re more realistic tracks? And then he was like, oh, we can cut wood pieces. The leaders wreck. Cut wood pieces in the spray pan. And I'm like, oh, sweet deal. And so he helped me make those. We'll bring out our first and so that's why a lot of them that's seven. why it kind of the problem is there is like the you know you see the cracks we'll you know you can see the crack in all the pieces and everything but i i don't know it, it allowed me to make like from a distance when you look at this that's like hey that's a pretty good looking racetrack that looks pretty good so uh i don't know it was a it was a but they'll be out early something on. A, a, a give and take there you know they were in the top five coming into the day Green flag yeah, Carter's 56 was Burton in season one. Is Casey Kane. Newman's battling with him for second. Look at Ryan Newman and Casey inside. Kane. What year is this? Oh, and Hamlin's just going to go ruin Newman's their lives. Oh, no, the big one. On the oh, the big one. Tony Stewart's in it. Oh, my goodness. 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 Oh, my good
Lucius comes in and, along with Chase Elliott and several others and at least nine or ten several cars involved here on lap number ten. There's a lot of others. Definitely the biggest crash we've the seen. The track is blocked. As they're just piling ah! along the French straightaway here. <laughs> I see Kane involved. Almarola. Oh Jake yeah, that's Murray, that's Luke a lot of cars. Paul that's Menard, ten cars Easter, right there. Carl Edwards, you can see them all right there. Yeah, red flag red indeed, flag sir. Go. Let's look at this a lot again. Of getting run over from behind, not able to. Slam on their when did you go to your first NASCAR race? Tony 2005. Stewart, Casey, I went to Texas in November. Dylan slipped through just barely. Edwards sandwiched right in the middle of it. Boyer nowhere to go. Johnson's able to slip Look at people on pit road to dodge that. Look how crazy that was. Everyone else is going to be ready to restart here on lap number 12. Four laps to go. Four laps to go. Let's see how this ends. Oh, remember the Nature's Bakery car for Danica? That holds the sponsorship debacle. Is in prime position to try and take this win away. He gets sideways off the corner. Dale Earnhardt Jr. now is going to sneak into second. We have less than three laps to go. Who wins this race? I don't even remember now. Up to the outside. Coming to two Trying laps to, to go, him. using that outside lane. Dale to Jr. to the lead. Now with the preferred lane to the outside of Hamlin. Hamlin gets Ooh, contact. contact. Oh, Bush makes it three wide. Kurt Busch. That's right, he wins this race. Brad Keselowski now is trying to sneak into second. Final lap. <coughs> oh, spoiler alert. My bad. I thought that was already last lap. They're still hitting each other. Scrambling all over the place. And this was, this was a better race than I remember it. To try and bring it home. This is a fun one. And Kurt Busch is going to do it. Kurt Busch is going to win. Kurt Busch. Haven't seen Has he won a race yet tonight? I don't think he had. And a Final. Good for Kurt. Good Last job, Kurt. Good, good, great, good, amazing job. I like the, the this pass here you made. I've had these two guys hit each other and he like drifts. Look at this drift. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Hurry up. Watch him. Stop talking to me. Watch him. Yeah. Ooh, little, little, little fishtail. Yeah, I always like that. All right, let's move on. Season 7, race 6, the very next race after this ad. We go back to Eldora because I basically looked at the millions of views that the other Eldora was getting and thought, all right, we got to go to Eldora again. <laughs> I'm a fool to not go to Eldora again. So I tried to make a better Eldora. We're at Eldora Speedway. And for 12 I don't think it was that much better. At gaming and just I think it was slightly better. For the command. Driver, oh my gosh. That's right. A bunch of, bunch of, bunch of people doing the, the, the command. And this That's is cool. One and two. All right, wait, hold on. Let's get the actual start. Let's get the actual start here. Look, it's Herbie. Herbie the Love Bug. Lots of famous cars. And oh, and Batman. Why is Batman in the, the middle of the track? Carl leads us down. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness two, gracious. Drifting across this dirt race track. And I had the Three Batman versus Superman cars in this race. I don't know why. Jimmy I just Johnson decided that'd be fun. From Joey Logano. Edwards leads the first lap as they head down the back stretch now. Still I think this looks a little bit better there. than the last Eldora, but not much better. Ooh, Edwards that's a cool camera angle. Jimmy Johnson and the Superman car right behind him. So we begin the third lap of the race. Joey Logano looking oh, inside. Here yeah. comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the Batmobile. Is that Edwards leading? I don't think Edwards has a whole lot of dirt experience. Really That's okay. Wasn't supposed to be that realistic. That race lead. Two and three wide all the way back as they head through one. Two. Oh, around. He oh. With Greg the Biffle big well, <laughs> buried. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> buried <laughs> under all that dirt. He's dead in there. He's been freaking filled with cement. Oh, my God. This is definitely not going to help their efforts with only two races to go. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the reset. Let's go back to the reset. I had Batman as the pace car, I had Darth Vader. I was using those guys in parodies as well, so that was fun. Green flag is back in the air for Edwards. Jimmy Johnson here gets a great restart from third. Yeah, Hamlin was basically the buried alive there. Oh, look, that's a good camera right there. Mm. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, Edwards in the wall. Five wide. What are y'all doing? Oh. Kevin Harvick slides through. Still, Still four wide. There's just not enough space for all these cars. The oh, not it's Trevor Bain. Oh, he's buried too. You can't get the 17 out of that that hole right there. Oh, yikes. Look at Benson's face. He had said it all right there. He's just like, this is this is a disaster. Caught up in wrecks today. I like how, look at how the, naturally the grooves are like rake a groove through there. That was, was kind of cool. For Jimmy Johnson. Joey Logano does not get going. Kyle Busch looking for second. Dale Earnhardt mm, Jr. Jimmy Johnson the in the lead. There's a camera you'll hear in a second that I remember Batman being really excited about. Look at that old Bush car. Oh, look at that old Bush beer car on Harvick. This camera angle right here. here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And then, oh, he goes to the bottom. I was really proud of that camera angle. No, and Jimmy almost loses it. Harvick is involved as well. That wasn't very super of him. That's interesting. Kyle Busch finished second in the first Eldora race I did. I think it was second, or he was battling for the win. He might have finished like third, but coming to the white flag, you yeah. saw Jimmy Johnson. This is Eldora, so this one, this one's this, this Eldora race did pretty well as well. Not quite as well as the original, but pretty close. Quite. Hits that, wall a that old Bush car. I'm not a big fan of that old Harvick car. That that I don't know. That's a little. I don't know what they're trying to do with it. Uh, well, that was that was classic. All right, let's go and fast forward again here. Let's finish up season seven. Let's let him do his burnout. Good job, Kyle. Good job. You got to win. Good job. We'll do the season seven finale, which is one of my favorite races I ever made. Daytona. I was really proud of this one as well. Denny Hamlin. Let's fast forward a bit. Is Chase Elliott in the 24. So this is it. Championship cars were Harvick, Bush, Edwards, and Junior. And I think I literally just did it to where the highest finisher 
wins the championship. Basically, how real NASCAR is doing it now. So let's do this We're thing. Let's wrap this up. Started. Green flag is in wrap up season seven. The w Cup Series season seven finale. We are Hamlin leading. Why don't I have the Daytona. audio turned to mix to kind of low, though? Hamlin leads him through one and two. Jimmy Johnson right. now moves into second. Carl Edwards is going to give him a run. How's it going, ECS? Why was there Johnson smoke and dirt? Oh, it could be a little bit of smoke. They can dust up. It was kind of supposed to be just like dust. Hamlin's going to slip in the middle here. That's going to open the door for his teammate, Carl Edwards. Lap two now is underway. Three wide already. the third lane, but he's got no help back there. He's going to lose a My little Pocono Daytona here. Up front, Denny Hamlin looking to the outside of Johnson. Johnson going to go down to block I don't know why the colors on this one always looked a little dingy. I never knew why I did. I accidentally had a. As he's going to look something setting on the camera, I guess. As they come off a of four, down the front stretch they go. Hendrick teammates battling for the lead. Who do you think Carl we win at Watkins Glen this weekend? Uh, I don't know. Three. three wide further back in the pack. I'm going to lean towards, I don't know, I think a guy like Kyle Busch will be good, but I'm picking go Truex. Truex is my pick. looking for second. Three wide for second as Carl Edwards looks to the inside of his teammate, trying to get a run. He's got Brad Keselowski behind him. Now down the front Look at this, just all this three wide, three split wide. in the middle, the all the championship contenders Johnson. right up there in the top Keselowski's six or so. Take that position away from Johnson as Carl Edwards gonna I'm doing good chronicle knowledge, how are you? Three how are you? Wide behind Where's Tony? There he is, he's back there. Oh, he's wrecked. There's Tony. Oh, he's flipping. Oh, he's literally flipping. Tony in the chat asked, there's Tony or where's Tony? And I looked up and there he is wrecking. Comes out here on lap number four. Greg Biffle involved. Larson, oh, Stewart, that's rough. Dylan, Lugano, a lot of people wrecked there. That's kind of a cool looking wreck. That spot gets Look at that sideways. flip. Oh, a lot of people do a barrel roll. Do another barrel roll. Larson, he lands on top of Larson's car. That's that pretty back. cool. That's pretty fun. Track position to make up. That's good. As the two Gibbs cars are in the top five, they're going to try to hold them off. Green flag is back in the air here on lap number six. Keselowski leading with Johnson behind him. Ooh, that's a good Kyle camera. Kyle trying to push Carl around him on the outside. They head out of got the Gibbs cars on the outside, oh, except sideways. Edwards. He's going to move sideways. into the third lane. As now Kyle Busch and Matt Kenseth they are going to try and take advantage. The problem here is all a lot of the Gibbs cars there in the top five or six. The Hendrick Johnson. only had as Jimmy Johnson. Johnson. Chase Elliott's kind of up there. He's made this tough. Suarez wins at Watkins at Glen, at Watkins Glen. I think he'll have a good race. He won a stage well. here in 2017, so yeah, I, I can give to see Suarez doing well. Keselowski continues to move back and forth, blocking two and three lanes at one. Stenhouse back there trying to do his own thing. Hmm, I try to make it realistic. Keselowski's going to clear him off of four. McMurray oh, slips in the middle. Oh, oh contact. contact! Oh, oh, Newman! Oh, and Chase! Chase Elliott no damage, though. They're good. They're good. Your past voice is catching up to your current voice. You're right. We're, we're almost, we almost sound normal here. You're on lap number I could, seven. I'm just going to mute it. I'm going to mute this next for this final restart. I'm going to mute it, and I'm going to do my own commentary for it. All right, let's do now, my own commentary. Let's see. An overtime yeah, overtime. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, hold Two on. Restart. Two to go. All right, it's Hamlin. No, not Hamlin. That's Jimmy Johnson leading. <laughs> Kyle Busch to his inside. All right, that's pretty fun. Oh, there's Edwards making a move. Oh, oh Jimmy Johnson's going to go up and block him. That's pretty nice. Good move there by Jimmy to block and uh, keep the 19 car behind him because 19 looks pretty darn fast. Coming to the white flag here. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, they're three wide. Oh, that's not good. Three wide. There's Kyle Busch. He's taking the lead. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing seems to have a pretty good uh, stronghold of this race, but oh, Jimmy's not done yet, boys. Here he comes. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is pushing him back to the lead. That's pretty good right there. Jimmy right back out front where he belongs. Oh, they're coming out of turn four for the final time. Oh, contact Jimmy's around. There's a wreck. Oh, big smash. Wreck crash. Everybody's dead. Everybody dies. The end. All right. That's my commentary. That's my in-the-moment commentary. Carl Edwards crosses the finish line ahead of the Yeah, ball. I'm great in Rick Allen. Definitely. Scored, but I definitely not. Carl definitely Edwards better. Is your w Cup Series yeah, that was a fun finish. Seven. I was always very proud finish of that finish. And trying to regroup and come back through the middle. Kyle was watch trying it to block. The normal commentary. Johnson with Junior on the outside. Two turns to go here at Daytona. Junior to the outside of Bush. Carl Edwards trying to come to the third line. To the finish. Around goes the 48. Big crash behind the leaders. Carl Edwards crosses the finish line first. As at least 10 cars. Yeah, that was a big wreck. All right, well, season seven was fun. Season seven, definitely one of my favorite uh, seasons for sure. Why do your tracks have no banking? I had a bunch of my Texas races had plenty of banking. Banking's hard to make. Harder to make than it looks. Ugh. So let's move on. Let's move on to season eight. This was the final full-time season. Season eight, it had its moments, but the most notable moment in season eight, the most no uh, notable race in season eight, without a doubt, is probably this one right here. After Mountain Dew decides to bombard us with an advertisement. Hey, it's Texas. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Oh, no, more of this. I just want to watch the race. I just want to watch the race. Why'd you change your name to Eric Eastev? It's always been Eric. Oh, you mean on YouTube? Uh, I don't know because I thought that was more. That was a better brand. I made the other name when I was like five years old. Well, okay, I was like thirteen. Figure eight circuit. I made a figure eight. Can you guys believe that? I forgot that I did this. 
Look at that. There's a bridge. Look at that. It's an actual bridge. This should be a real racetrack. They need to actually make this. Look at that. That's cool. Classic. I like that Jimmy Johnson paint scheme, too. Kozlowski's going to try and That's look also really good. He's slide up the racetrack here. It's going to open the door for Clint Boyer to sneak into second. Boyer looking for a strong run today. Lap three is now How do you way. make banking? How Clint to make Boyer banking? Uh, how did we do it? We had, a, we had foam core used as made, built on like different banked of like triangles. And we placed them around in a turn. It was complicated. I get, I get my dad to come in here and help explain it. But I did a video many years ago called like how to make a stop motion track. A NASCAR stop motion track that kind of explained it. That was a pretty big crash. Yeah, the quality of these definitely jumped up from given where we started to where we where, where we are here this was made in what 17 yeah this was made about two years ago a lot better a lot better green flag i don't know why everything looks like kind of sepia front row of this restart harvick's going to be able to easily slip by look at that camera angle Ooh, that's fun second now boyer going to try and hold off keselowski johnson looking inside of brad for that third spot Stuart Haas racing dominating down four laps to go here at the figure eight circuit still a couple Stuart Haas should have done atlanta jimmy won that one. Oh, i might have skipped yeah i think i skipped atlanta Harvick tonight gonna give <coughs> boyer's gonna get right to his bumper now it looks like how'd you make the cars move without touching them it's stop motion you move the car you know you, like, you move the car an inch here. You take a picture, they move the car another inch, take another picture. Spun. Oh, that's a big crash. Oh, that's bad. That was a big, big, big wreck. And then you just piece it together in editing and have only each photo on screen for a split second. It's, you know, stop motion animation. That was, a, that was a fun wreck. I mean, not all wrecks aren't always fun, but that one was fun. Oh, remember that old tax act Danica car? Larson right there with them. Oh, some new faces at the front of the Ooh, field. Larson contact. drives the corner, gets into a couple of them. Two and three wide. Oh, Blaney. goodness. Ryan Blaney going to take advantage. As we come and take the white flag, can Larson get underneath Blaney? Looks like he will. Look Truex at Truex in that 78. I didn't have a 78 second. car for the He's longest the time, and then Larson. I finally got one. They head down the bridge once again. Truex to the inside of Larson. He puts him in the oh, wall. Oh, he put him in the Truex wall. Hit the wall. Blaney looking for the lead. He's not going to get it. Oh, that was the end of the race? Truex I thought we had Jr. one more lap. Holds on to win. Oh, Blaney was in the 21. I forgot about that. I forgot that Blaney drove the, the 21. I honestly did. It took me a moment. So. It all started about coming to the white flag. Yeah, Tony Martin Stewart is gone. He can finally have some Truex peace. That is true. Kevin Harvick, but Martin must have you taken? Must have taken you hours for one race. Yeah, each race probably took close to 20 hours to make on average. To all of that was a good time. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good time. Hold on. Let's do season. Let's find the season eight finale. Oops. Didn't mean to scroll down. Ryan Blaney finishes second. Kevin Harvick led a lot. Season eight championship race. Oh yeah, the intro fun. Classic. Is Brad Keselowski in the highest start of 10 we tied. Who is the championship for in this race? Newman in the 31. So here's your race in Oh, right, there you go. There's your championship for Elliot Larson Truex Johnson. Highest, highest finisher wins the cha championship. Just decide to make it simple. Should Same as NASCAR is doing it these days. Is the for he is magic. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely his magic. I just all the cars two, went around. Two by two. Up front, though, it's single file. Keselowski leads Martin Truex Jr., the highest all right. running car of the four championship contenders yeah look, look at these now is underway. This is, this is we got Truex. Right. he's gonna give a nudge to keselowski no, oh i had the thank you dale jr Martin and thank you matt kenson signs on the outside of the track because this is right car to the right lead. when they were all about to retire to championship four kyle larson though, trying right. to sneak in on him he moves into second runs a little wide that opens the door for johnson oh contact Ooh. down the back straight away jimmy johnson trying to take third he slides oh jimmy dumped him he dumped him oh blaney oh kenson dumped him oh no as well as everyone's wrecking and a caution will be out here. On oh, yeah, they did have smaller spoilers back then. Yeah, it was, it was different. Casey wall, and you see, started to come off the wall, and Blaney turned to try and avoid it. Yeah. Now we have two champions. All right, we had championship contenders up at the front. Kyle Larson in second on the front row. I like that Jimmy Johnson start. scheme Jimmy a lot. Johnson still in fourth, but might have some damage I really did. Incident. It looks like Chase Elliott is back there in sixth. We will restart here on lap number six. And it should be. An exciting one. So let's see if Truex are you going to do a, a, to a stock race? Green are you going to do a stock race anytime soon? Are you, so you, you mean another stop motion race? Or you mean I'm going to a stock car Jamie race? To I don't have any plans to do spot. another stop motion anytime too soon. He's gotten a great restart here. Kyle Larson tries to retake third. As up front, here comes Jimmy Johnson to the inside of Truex for the race. Look, last time Jimmy was really competitive. Championship driver Oh, three wide for the lead. Larson three wide on the bottom. He runs Johnson. Oh, Larson, Larson with a rough run him up. Oh, the Jimmy fans weren't too happy about that one. Dude, Jimmy Johnson falls back. A wreck without Tony, I know, a rarity. <laughs> and we got big trouble out of turns. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look up Seven, and everyone's dead. Oh gosh. Pile up here in turns one and two. Oh, yikes. We'll bring out the caution two thirds oh, way through this race on lap number eight. 
Kyle Busch, Danica Patrick, Dang, Austin, I didn't think you could wreck that many cars Dylan, in this little track. Bain, Red flag indeed. Their mid -pack, Logano it's a big one. What happened? Logano Bush, wrecked into Bush, into Dylan, into ev involved. everybody. Almost everybody just wrecked there. I don't remember what I was. I don't remember that wreck. It was a big wreck here midway through this race. You see the red flag. You see our champion. Go All back right, let's do this. Are we in the final flag. restart yet? Start here on lap number ten. Three, three laps to go. Laps let's do this. Let's see. I, I think I remember. Yeah, I remember who wins this championship, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone who maybe has it. Both right there to challenge. Green flag is back in the air. Larson this time gets a better jump Look, on Suarez that there in the 19. Jump on yeah, I forgot about him for a second the there. First time. Here comes Larson through three. Truex v Larson. From Truex. Kyle Larson to the race lead and the two to go. lead with two to go. I like both those paint schemes a lot. His back bumper. He gets into the back of the 42 and runs him wide. The bump and run, boys. Here comes Chase I filmed this in an apartment uh, at school. So I was in college when I was doing season eight. That's right. I was. I did come. I managed Kyle to still Larson do a season eight while in college. Coming to the checkers. Oh, he, he gets into him. Oh, he hits him. Oh. Dang, I forgot about all that carnage. That's the fun thing about stop motion is you don't have to worry about uh, actually wrecking real race cars. This is a massive pile up across the start finish Jeez. line occurs behind him including Truex, Chase Elliott. It's a lot of Johnson I mean they, through, the cars look fine from here but that's a lot of Kyle Larson. Look what theoretical carnage. So Larson won this championship. Dramatic fashion. His first career yeah, there we go. championship. Cool. What an impressive All right, we got a couple more races to watch tonight. So we've been going for about 2 hours. This has been a lot of fun. This has been all of his sponsors. This has been a good time. This has been a great great time. Hello everyone. Hello, everybody. You guys can see me, yeah. This has been fun. We got. I'm gonna watch two more races. I'm gonna watch a couple Terminator Champions races, and we'll wrap it up. And then I'll, then I'll chat with you guys for a little bit. I answer some questions. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We still have around 450 people watching. That's incredible. Uh, but yeah. So let's 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 wrap this up. We got just a couple more races to watch. I'm getting tired. I knew this would wear me out, but goodness gracious, I'm excited to see. We're gonna do the Terminator Champions. We'll start with race one. I tried a new intro for Tournament Champions and some new graphics. Look at that. Ooh, that was sharp. Hey, thank you, uh, Nolan Racing. I'm not planning on making any stop motions anytime soon. Everybody just liked that, yeah. Haven't done one in a while. It's just it's just hard to do these days. I just don't have the time or the space or any of that. But I'd like to still do some. I did one over crit uh, I did one last winter. Oh, look, we got the Camaros. This is the first stop motion with the Camaros in it. Yeah. For those teams, but we know they have what it takes to run up towards the front. Yeah. Now, this was so the we'll first uh, race Let's I ever did that was actually sponsored. I had a real sponsor for this one. Let's take that was crazy. Championship race. I didn't get that much. I didn't get that much money out of it, but that was really crazy to have an actual sponsor for this race. Ten laps around this one mile racetrack. Underway in race. Hopefully, they got their money's worth. So I hadn't done a stop motion in a while, so this one. On the oh, that camera angle. It's getting crazy with the getting wacky. Where did you get the graphic? I made it. I know a little bit of Photoshop, though. I'm not completely useless. Logano now looking underneath our pole sitter for third. As Keselowski leads lap number two. We're so the whole gimmick with now. the Terminator First Champions is that after each race, a certain number of drivers got eliminated, like just straight up erase like they didn't get to race in the next race so the first one i think you just had to be in the top like 15 oh and that's not gonna work oh that's really not gonna work on his side that is a shame that is too bad his own teammate took him out that is and look at kyle larson tough squash there four fresh tires must have flat spotted him when he avoided that wreck oh and larson had a for tires that's exciting that's fun let's take a look at you can suggest whatever you want the nascar the nascar guy i can't talk oh my goodness yeah that Kyle Busch caramel are. scheme. Did I run that one in this race? Is that one in this race? It better be, because that is a good scheme. Oh, Green yeah, that's a nice one. Air, oh, I love it. From the outside. The What's your favorite diecast card to have? Uh, it's probably a big on one. It's probably my Circle K, Matt Kenseth, final win. Diecast that I got him to sign last month. As we fly by with four laps to go. Down the front stretch, Kyle Larson. Look, Larson with those four games. fresh tires. Right on the high side. He's trying to get back in that top 15. Already up to Yeah, 16. so I was trying to make it so you could follow along with Larson trying McMurray to race back into the top 15 three here. Wide now for 14th <coughs> place. McMurray now falls out of the top 15. Larson back into 14. That cut line still moving back and forth. Blaney, meanwhile, cannot pass here. Kyle Busch up for the life of him. Blaney still trying to get by Kyle Busch. And again, we Larson did do the Texas season six finale. Byron holding we watched that one a little while ago. White flag I'm losing there. my voice. Kyle Doing a lot of talking tonight. Final lap, split screen. Look at that Bush work. Look at that extra work. Oh, Blaney actually got by. Oh shoot. Hamlin to the inside. To the wall race long, but Blaney actually won the race. That's fun. That's great. Do you have Matt Kenseth's Ritz car? No, I do not. No, I do not. Fifteenth spot ahead of Jamie McMurray, and we'll move on to the next round. 
How many of these cars do you own? I mean, I own all the cars you see in the video, obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those little burnouts. That's fun. I like that Blaney paint scheme a lot, even though he like, never really actually ran that paint scheme specifically. He ran a bunch of variants on it, but he rarely ever run that real one. So you see, like, yeah, I eliminated a bunch of drivers. That was the gimmick. It was kind of fun. Some people liked it, some people didn't. It was just kind of like to do. Let's fast forward, though, to the finale. I narrowed it down to five uh, cars. <clears throat> at the end of the whole season and I did 20 laps around this like little short track that I built just for it Welcome to the so it was pretty different Cup series, tournament of so this is going to be the last race we watch tonight I think guys unless we get crazy and decide we want to watch something finale. else Five drivers remain in this tournament, and we're about to see... Eric, what advice would you give to a new stop-motion maker? I've been waiting for this question all night. Maybe somebody did ask, and I just missed it. But the advice I give to everybody always is take more pictures than you think you have to. Be patient, because it's it's more work than I think it looks. And I think the biggest issue I see with people is they, they build a nice-looking racetrack, but then they rush the pictures, and the actual animation quality doesn't look that good. Uh, I'd say that's something to watch out for. So like each of one of my races usually took like 11 or 12 or 1300 pictures. Just keep an eye on that. It takes it takes a lot of pictures to make it look good. <coughs> so I was really proud of making this track. This is like I didn't make that many custom tracks for this, like permanent tracks. But I like the way this one looks. It's just a little bullring. Look at that, three wide. So the gimmick here was the winner of this race basically wins the whole thing, wins the whole championship. We're already on the lap three. Larson leads Kevin Harvick. Kevin, Kevin Harvick is all over the back bumper of Larson. Larson How many laps did I do? 25 laps? That's a lot of laps. That is a lot of laps. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and now Larson's going to get the bumper put to him by Harvick. Yeah, Alan knows what I'm talking about. You know, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough work. It's a lot of it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of patience, really. Spent many hours just listening to podcasts, listening to music, watching YouTube videos, streams, all that type of stuff. I just had to kill the time somehow because otherwise I was just sitting there moving a car, click, picture, moving a car, click, moving a car, and it's just, oh, just it's tedious. It's tedious. Doing that for 20 hours a week or 30 hours, you know, a lot of time. That's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of energy. Ooh, I like that Chase Elliott car. I like all these paint schemes in this race. Truex continues to lead, but now Elliott will move into second. We're on lap 10 already. Elliott all over the back bumper of Martin Truex Jr. Looking for that race lead. He's going to give a small... What's all you guys' favorite Dex race ever? I don't even know if I can decide that. I like the Season 7 finale a lot. I like the Christmas race I did in Season 2. I like the Eldoras. I like the Texas ones. But what are you guys? I want to know what you guys think. What is your favorite Dex race ever? Oh, there goes Chase. There goes Chase. Looks like he's going to keep it off the wall, but that's going to bring out our first caution on lap 13. Just past the halfway point. I'm curious. No, I'm curious. I, it's, I, I don't even know. I don't you know. What's your least favorite race, too? I don't know. That'd be fun. What's my, I wonder what my least favorite Dex race is. Probably one of the first ones I made because I wasn't proud of it. Season 4 finale. Season 2 finale. That was classic, yeah. Custom road course season 8, yeah. To first now contact again back in the pack Johnson the one I was in <laughs> season six finale that's a good one too Eldora in season seven those are all yeah these are a lot of good ones yeah I like those a lot lap 17 already Truex into this camera just just let the camera sit there and just add the cars go around and around since the start of the race Truex all over the back bumper of that 42 car can he find a way down to lap 19 six to go only a few laps remaining in this race Truex Hunting Larson, right in his tire tracks. Oh, now Larson goes wide. Larson gets up out of the groove. And around oh, he gets turned. Oh, Larson. Larson. He's going to get a small oh. piece of the wall there in turn three. As a wild this is back when we all thought Larson, Larson was the next big thing. <laughs> Before his 2018 and 2019 struggles. <laughs> and let's take a look at what happened here. Did he get any, any help? No, it looks like there was no contact. He might just wheel hopped. Just could not get the car to turn. And then see off the exit of two, he got turned by Elliott. Looked like Chase was moving up. Larson was coming down. And he almost kept it off the wall, but a slight nick. Probably not going to be any significant damage. It looks like he's going to try and continue. He'll restart in fifth. Three laps to go, Holtfield's boys. Last three laps three of the night. I am tired. This wore me out. I knew it would. It comes down to this final but this wore me out. Stretch. Hope you guys have had fun. Bristol meetup. Details coming Green soon because that is happening. Truex gets a good run on the outside, but here comes Jimmy Johnson battling back on the bottom. Oh boy, side side nose to nose, to two, to, two go. to go. Jimmy Johnson fans, side, I know they were. The I know that every Jimmy Johnson fan is on the edge of their seat right here. Was this finally the moment he came through? Oh no, Jimmy! 
Ah, Trix. Trix won it. I know Trix isn't thrilling or anything, but I thought, you know, I thought it was fun. It was the way it worked out. just the way it happens. The way it happens. That's how this one's going to end. Well, thank you, Dylan. Thank you. Well, that was, that was something. On that final Quite the lap. finish. Really drove in deep. Bush drove in, or uh, Bush, in the Bush car. Harvick drove, drove in, in deep. To Tried to make it stick, didn't quite what stick. That was it. That was that was that. Look at all these little Truex snapshots. <laughs> <Truex> <laughs> <Truex> <laughs> <Truex> <laughs> <laughs> little paparazzi everywhere. He does a he burnout and just crashes into them. That'd be funny. Cup Series tournament champion. There are your final results. That was awesome. That was awesome. What a finish! Definitely one they're going to be talking about for a long time. All five competitors managed to finish. But well, there no you go, guys. I think that's about going to do it tonight. This has been so thank you all so much for watching. seven years in the making, uh, pretty much. This entire tournament, for all of you who watched <coughs> since the very beginning, thank you so much for the support. We hope you enjoyed, and we hope to see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Tearing up. I'm actually am tearing up just a little bit. Mainly because my allergies are really bad. But, no, genuinely, kind of sad. Kind of sad. Oh no, whoa, it's, it's auto-playing one. Oh, we didn't watch this one. We didn't watch the Pocono one, did we? Season 3 Pocono, let's skim through it. It auto-played it. We didn't watch it. Let's watch Let's watch it. Skim through it, skim through it. Oh, Mark Martin's leading. Hey, Tony Stewart's leading. Does Tony Stewart win this race? I don't want to watch to see if Tony Stewart wins. Oh, it's the final lap. Did Tony Stewart win? Can we end this stream with a Tony Stewart win? Oh, goodness gracious. Is it going to end with a Stewart win? No, it's going to end with a Kyle Busch win. That's exactly what the people wanted to see. All right, y'all. This has been uh, this has been fun. This has been a good time. Good times are had by everyone. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh, look, I got my little logo down here. Let's make that bigger. Whoa! Oh, nope. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Let's make this a little larger. Whoa! Yeah, let's put it right there. All right. Well, Tony Stewart, of course. We end the we end the stream with Tony Stewart not winning a race. That's beautiful. That's exactly what everyone wanted to see. Oh, wow. So we had four, five, six hundred people watching pretty much this entire stream. I really appreciate that. That is that is insane to know that this series that I've been working on since I was 13 years old, basically, uh, still has reached that many people still to this day, seven years later, where there's still hundreds of people that are interested in watching me, watching watching the, those videos, and, uh, and watching the two together. That is, uh, <clears throat> that's just insane. That is insane to me. I'm moving this stuff around right now. I'm going to get that smaller. Uh... I don't know. I know people ask all the time. People always ask, you know, whether I'm going to do a season nine or another deck season. And I kind of talked about it a little bit in the stream, but no, I'd like to, in a perfect world, I'd like to be able to do out of the groove. I'd like to be able to do stop motions. I'd like to be able to do all that type of stuff. Everything that's made this channel what it is to, to this day. I'd like to keep working on all those, but uh, I don't know. Unfortunately, stop motion is just, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's a thing of the past at this point for me. It's a, it was something that helped get my channel to where it is today. It's something that helped bring a lot of NASCAR fans together, a lot of new people into the sport, uh, helped kind of introduce me to the online racing community. But uh, it, it just it is, it is what it is. It's hard to keep making those. It's you know it's tedious doing. It's very repetitive. So it's hard to make a full life, a full career doing that. Got bigger and better things ahead for uh, for me in the future, hopefully. And uh, and the decks, uh, stop motions, and everything were a huge part to help get me to where I am today. So. Uh, I appreciate everybody <clears throat> who supported them over the years, who supported me over the years. I, I, it means a ton. It means a ton. And like I said at the very beginning of this two-hour plus stream, uh, the fact that I'm, you know, my channel's changed so much, you know, over the last eight years, over the eight years of its existence, the fact that it's changed pretty drastically a few different times, and people still stuck around and still showed up, new people show up, and everything. That's uh, that means a ton to me. So mm, I'm very thankful for it. I appreciate all of you who tuned in tonight. I appreciate all of you sending super chats, all of you who watch every week, all of you support NASCAR, support me, support the show. Because hopefully, this uh, hopefully there's some big and awesome things in the in the not so distant future. I know this this year when I the fact that I've gotten like Eric Almarola on the show, or I had Haley Deegan, I got to interview her a couple weeks ago. I've seen people in the comments will say like this guy really went from playing with toy cars in his bedroom a few years ago to interviewing actual NASCAR superstars and getting to talk to them. And honestly, I kind of stopped and I was like, dang. They're right. Like that's insane. That is absolutely ridiculous. But I, I think it's a cool. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe, maybe some of you find that inspiring. I don't think anything I do is particularly inspiring. But maybe if you find that inspiring, that's uh, the idea that really anything's possible. I guess that's uh, that's the cliche. I guess we can go off of here. Uh, so. I don't know. That was fun. I am reading the chat. Thank you guys for yelling at me. Yeah, that is ridiculous. I, it's it's crazy. It's 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 insane. But. Love what the channel is now. Love working on the stuff I'm working on now. Love getting to see all you guys at the racetracks when I go out and visit them. And it really is just, uh, really is just incredible. So 
I appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. This was a really fun stream. I was really looking forward to doing something like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I'll go and play. I'll play you guys out with the with the good old uh, classic intro again. So, thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys again very, very, very soon. Have a good one, everybody.